not prepared. <laughs> yes, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the eighth edition of Quizness Jet, the game show that is happening once a month, where you can test your knowledge um, uh, to uh, to the fullest against everybody else that is into aviation. Hope you're well. Uh, we're going to go straight into uh, the uh, the show because we have a lot of people to get through who are hoping to try and take the uh, crown away from uh, our champion. So first up, uh, let's bring on the first contestant, who is resident viewer. It is hey. Rob Brown playing spotting. Rob, good to see you. Hope you're, uh, hey, hope you're well. How are you doing? All good, bud. All good. Can't complain. Big hello for the north. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had any of the stormy weathers that we've had down here in the south? Been glorious the last couple of days. Lovely. Very That's unusual in Scotland, but very nice. No, absolutely. Very so nice I can kind of complain. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think last time you were on the quiz, I think was probably the, the first one we did. Yeah, very first one, yeah. And uh, you're quite famous for the uh, drawing of the Hercules which yes. wasn't a Hercules. Yeah. <laughs> and you've uh, you've told me that if uh, the round comes up again this evening, you'll quit. Is that right? That's it. Either cool. that or I'm driving down and I'm going to punch a light. So. <laughs> I don't think you'll have to worry. I think you're fine. Um, cool. Your chances this evening against the uh, uh, folk we have in today? Uh, I better keep it clean, so I'll just say none. None. <laughs> So what about the positive spirit? Uh, anybody that you fear, of course, that's not the champion? Anybody that you just want to beat at all? Or uh, I think Nabil's going to be a, a dark horse here, by the way. Ah, I think. Okay. Okay. I think. Interesting. And, of course, as long as you finish above Jack, that's what it matters? That's it. Good stuff. That's it. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. We'll bring you back shortly. Uh, also, joining us uh, this evening... Um, is uh, first time on the quiz and first time doing anything with the podcast, but very excited to have him on. Uh, it is, of course, Alexander Elliott. Alex, good to see you. How are you? Hello. I'm good. Good yeah. stuff. Good stuff. How do you sort of rate your chances this evening then? Um, yeah, as long as I don't come last. That's the <laughs> that's the only thing. As long as I beat Jack. As yeah, you else. go. Yeah. Caught on already. You can tell he's yeah. an avid viewer of the show. Uh, <laughs> obviously, yeah, you've you've obviously watched uh, the uh, the quizzes and everything else. How have you done when you've sort of been playing along at home? Yeah, fair to rubbish to yeah, sometimes okay. So sometimes okay. Chelsea. Yeah, fair play, fair play. Uh, anybody that you are in sort of uh, apart from obviously the obvious being Jack, of course. Uh, anybody that you're sort of looking forward to going up against this evening. Noel and Nabil, because they are, yeah, they know their aviation, so they're going to be the tough players to try and beat, I think. Um, yeah, definitely. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Right, we'll bring you back momentarily. Also joining us, Lewis from London Plane Spotting. Good evening. evening. How are you? I'm good. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, all good. Looking forward to this evening? Um. Yes and no. Um, Crapping it, think, bricking it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's one thing. I think uh, watch your space, Jack, because I think I'm coming yeah. from that spot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's time to, to see how much of a fraud I am, really, but we'll see. But yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. We'll see. It might have been a nice surprise. We'll, we never know. Good stuff. Those of uh, those of the uh, those are the people that obviously are watching that may not know a little bit about yourself. Just very quickly and very briefly, uh, explain what you do. Uh, yeah, so uh, I run a channel called London Plane Spotting. Uh, we do uh, live stream uh, various uh, airports uh, around uh, London mainly, hence the name. Um, but we also do on tours. For instance, we are doing Amsterdam next week. Um, so uh, looking forward to that one. And yeah, just uh, <coughs> loads of uh, plane spotting videos pretty much on the channel. So it's grown quite a lot in the last year that we've been going for. So it's, it's fantastic to see. So yeah, great community. Good stuff. You have obviously watched some of the quizzes as well. How have you been doing in the in the quizzes um, like when you're playing along at home? I'm hoping you 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 you're going to have more of the recent uh, rounds than the earlier ones because I struggled with the earlier ones. 
Um, <laughs> but the uh, the recent ones are not too bad, so I'm fingers crossed that it's going to be the case, and probably have just like ruined it now. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, so hoping for not too many registration ones because I'm a bit worried about that one. That's all right. That's all right. You never know what's going to turn up on this show. Or the drawing one. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that one. I, I can't say anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm not revealing anything just yet. Um, but as long as I suppose if you just beat Jack, that's all that matters. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Sorry, Jack. Everyone else does. Everyone else does. No problem at all. Right. Uh, we'll bring you back shortly. No problem. I may have just cut him off there. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Timing's all over the place. Also joining us this evening, a returning Darren Smith. Good evening. Hello. How are we doing? I'm all right. Too bad. So um, probably a bit rusty at this now. I haven't done it for the last yeah. one. So. <laughs> yes, I say it's been a while since, uh, or, or, or at least a, a month or two since you've uh, you've done the the quiz. Obviously, we I say we. I've had the pleasure to get to actually meet you at uh, the uh, yeah. International Air Tattoo, which was. Uh, quite a surprise but very nice indeed so it was nice to have met you in person nice to meet you um, and jack as well of course and jack as well although yeah. he may have been my pet lobster at the time considering how burnt <laughs> he was i didn't get as badly burnt I'm, i recovered quite quickly but yeah jack yeah. was it was like yeah i don't know how don't really know how you want to um describe it apart from literally just lobster is the best the worrying thing it. is it was terrible weather and rain and cloud so if it had been a sunny july yeah, what would you been like then? Well, I don't think any of us expected Not it to all. be a hot day. That's the thing. I, I looked at the <laughs> forecast; and it was supposed to chuck it down all day. So, yeah, yeah. it wasn't too bad actually. Oh well, never mind. It was a good day anyway. It's a good day out. Yeah, um, yeah. Now, obviously, with your rustiness and stuff, uh, how do you think you'll do this evening? Anybody that you're gunning for, of barring, of course, Noel, because I know there's a little bit of a grudge there. No, no, not at all. I just want to be above Jack. And, uh, <laughs> I've, done, I've done my research into eBay things. I've checked up the prices of Buccaneer wings and tornado yeah. noses and things like that. So. Better yeah. change what's coming up then. <laughs> <laughs> <I doubt it. laughs> no, it's all right. It's all good. Um, we'll bring you back momentarily. Cheers. Uh, also, a returnee. Um, of course, the typical bar setter for those that join and would rather beat somebody. It is, of course, Jack Rolls, the the Mr. Bar Setter. Uh, how are you, Jack? Fantastic, thank you. How how are you? No, I'm very well, very well indeed. So this evening, Jack, you've seen the lineup. How how positive are you that you can finish bottom? Uh, I'm uh, I'm going to say I'm, I'm probably going to turn a few he- turn a few heads heads today. Turn a few confident. heads. I'm very confident. Very good, very good. So you've been doing some research, or you just you you feel like this could be your night? Just feel like this could be my night. That's also the eighth time you've said that in the eight episodes we've done it. So, <laughs> but either way, uh, anybody you're looking to, obviously, just you know, as long as you finish above them. Darren Smith. <laughs> you can't say Steve because he's not here this time. Yeah, but, uh, that that's all good. Uh, and of course, just very quickly, uh, your weekend. Obviously, you've been out and about. Where have you been? Um. So, so yesterday I was down at uh, Bournemouth Airport because uh, I actually got uh, got allowed um, access to um, Airside because there was two um, two Global Star uh, uh, Extra three hundred SCS uh, was down there. Very nice. Very nice. And of course, you've got some pictures as well, but we're not going to show those off. We've got something we'll show off at the end, but we'll yeah. save that towards the end. But uh, good luck to you this evening, Jack. We'll see how Thank well you much. get on. Joining us as well, one more before uh, we bring on the champ. We've just literally finished doing a shared cockpit flight, which went ever so well. Uh, it is, of course, Nabil from the Bill Games. Nabil, good evening. How are you? Good evening, uh, good evening, Tom. Good evening, everyone. How are you guys doing? Bye bye. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> just had to quickly say. Otherwise, uh, she wasn't going to stop. Fine, uh, no yeah, uh, I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Uh, that was a, a good Ryanair landing, I would say, for first mm. time. I, I mean, you should have that. seen it from my point of view. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Boy, want to I did see it. So while you were taking off in that shared cockpit, it was oh. all over the place. 
<laughs> oh, I wish, I wish I'd, I wish I'd been able to like film it because it was just, oh, it was terrible. It was terrible, but yeah, it was good well, fun anyway. We, we, props we, to you for it being like, you know, being that all of all, all along. I, I couldn't sit and watch my screen. I had to look at someone else <laughs> I had to look at somebody else's screen. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, all uh, all is good. Um, so of course, the last time you were on the on the quiz, which was the last one that we did, um, a lot of people were sort of backing you to do well. And I think you can probably safely say yourself, maybe not yeah. so much. Yeah, um, I think uh, one thing definitely I would say that I'm going to not second guess this time because last time I was second guessing and, you know, things went wrong. I had the correct answer, scribbled it, went the other way and I was wrong. So yeah, not going to second guess myself. Uh, it should be okay. Should be a good one today. Less nervous as well this time. Less nervous, definitely, but still nervous because of I have a lot of competition today. So, <laughs> yeah. But as long as you beat, Jack. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> all is all is well. All is well. Yeah, I'm surprised you... Jack said he's gonna. He wants to beat uh, Darren when he's been going on about beating me all the week. All, he all has week, all week long. Yeah, and he did it on the stream earlier as well. So exactly. Yeah, he did. Very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. We'll see. Chickened how out, going. I guess. Chickened yeah. out. <laughs> Fighting talk already. I like it. Good <laughs> yeah. stuff. All right, we'll bring you uh, bring you back shortly. No worries. And of course, now it's time to bring on your reigning defending uh, Quizness Jet champion three times in a row. Going to start charging appearance fees soon. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's Noel Phillips. Noel, good Hello. evening or afternoon Good evening. To you. Oh, after afternoon, yes. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Hot. 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 Yes, you have a bit hoping for some rain, but yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a, a hot Texas summer at the moment, I suppose. It has been Stuff that we aren't 40, getting at the minute. <laughs> 40 degrees every day since May. So Ouch. <laughs> we, need, yeah. we need some rain. <laughs> <laughs> you can have what we've got. We seem to be getting that quite a bit at the moment. But uh, uh, I'll be there next week, so I'll be able to experience some of that. So. Yeah. It'll be nice and hot next week. It'll be a heat wave. Yeah. It'll be like 40 degree heat and be like Bring it with at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, so, I mean, obviously, since the uh, last appearance on the uh, on the quiz and that, how have you been? Obviously, lots of people, uh, even the, the contestants that we've got here this evening, have been watching some of your latest videos. Just tell us briefly where you've sort of uh, been. Well, actually, um, so the, the current batch of videos I'm releasing was filmed a couple of months ago now. So since the mm. last one, um, we were up in Wisconsin um, last week for Oshkosh, um, the Oshkosh air show up there, which is pretty cool. And I got to ride on a B-29 um, Super oh. Fortress as well, which was a pretty flipping cool. So wow. um, that was a bit epic. Um, so, yeah, we, we did, went up there, had a bit of time up there. Then we went to Florida on the way back, um, saw some friends and then came back. And then, yeah, I'm off next week to london and then onwards to kazakhstan again so yeah fantastic yeah, very nice very nice and you can look at the uh the videos that those that are watching you can watch noel's videos they're up on the channel at the moment um you're sort of i, I asked this question for the last three times and you sit and say you don't think you're going to do well and then you win anyway <laughs> so i'll ask you again well, <laughs> what do you think your chances are this evening against the batch of contenders that we have yeah. Um, I don't know, to be honest. I think my luck's going to run out at some point, isn't it? Because that's all it has been so far, let's face it. So, <laughs> and Darren's back this week, so um, I've got some tough competition there as well. Yes. And of course, as long as you beat Jack. Well, actually, I was winner. actually fearing Jack this week because he did quite well last week initially until the alcohol took over. And um, so, <laughs> you, know, we, I, you know, we could actually have a good contender on his hands here. I don't know. I think he, I yep. think he's a dark horse waiting to sort of emerge and win victorious and surprise everybody. So, let's just confirm one thing. Let's bring him back on. Jack, are you on booze tonight or no? <laughs> no, no, I'm on the uh, Pepsi Max. Being good. Oh, oh he's okay. so winning. He is so winning. He's going to win. That's <laughs> it. I might as well go home now. I am. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's it. Quiz yeah. done. Quiz done. <laughs> All right, let's bring everybody back so everyone can say hello to each other. Make sure I've got everyone hello. on this time. There hello. we go. Hello. 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 Good stuff. Let the chaos begin. Okay, so. Uh, we have four rounds of games this evening. I will say, if anybody is on a computer and you can see the chat, please get rid of it <laughs> because the people will be playing along and I don't want any cheating and they will tell me if anyone is cheating. Um, but you can play along at home as well. Keep up with the points. Uh, if you can't be bothered in the end, then don't worry. But uh, see how you get on against uh, the, the the gang here this evening and uh, see if you fancy your chances and potentially maybe coming on to the next one. But we're going to get started. With the quiz. So, everyone got pen and paper to hand. All good. All good. Fantastic. That's what I like. That's what I like. 
Cool. All right. So uh, we're going to kick off with everyone's favorite. <laughs> yes, it is. It is blurred airlines with my fantastic editing skills. Um, we uh, have taken uh, some pictures that I have found on the interweb. Uh, I'm blurred them to the point where your eyes go funny. Um, you just need to tell me. Two points up for grabs, one for the airline and an extra one for the aircraft if you can get it. Simple enough? All good. Yeah. Everyone's got the uh, the idea. Good stuff. Cool. Uh, okay. So first one for you guys, then I'm going to give you an opportunity to have a good look at this one and probably the rest of them as well because that would help when it comes up. There we go. There's your first one. Aircraft and airline, two points up for grabs. And I'm going to say hello to a few people in the chat. Uh, whilst uh, you guys write an answer down. So we have oh, Welshy Kev, good to see you. We've got Gail, David Bone, Lynn Keeble, Dogwood67, uh, Max as always. I don't have the SpongeBob theme this time. Gemma Rowe, good to see you. Caitlin, Sarah, of course. Um, uh, Carl Crawford, hello. Who else have we got? Who else? Who else? Matt Smith, hello to you. Um, Jim Gemmell is there. There to keep an eye on uh, 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 Max anyway. Uh, <clears throat> 787, good to see you. Wayne Hart, Sean, hello. I'm just going to keep reading names out. So, Alfet, um, Bruce, uh, Brandon, Plain Spotter, 23, hello. Uh, <coughs> and people, new names there. I can't pronounce his last name, so I'll just go with Chris. Hello to you. <laughs> hello to you. Um, and anybody else playing along at home. So, two points up for grabs. Let's get that off the screen. And um, we are going to start with the order that I think will go in is how we've got it. Let me just, there we go. So, uh, Rob, over to you first, please. BA A319 Retro. Try and do it this way around this time. Okay, so BA319, uh, we'll go for Jack. So I've gone for the B, B, uh, BA320. <laughs> Uh, B A A three B E yeah A three twenty. I don't like this way of doing it because it cuts people off. So we'll do <laughs> we'll see like this. Uh, so we've done Rob, we've done Jack. Noel, over to you. I've gone for the B A A three nineteen in the B E A retro livery, and I can't remember the retro. No, so. no worries, Alex. I've gone for the wrong one completely. Seven three seven Boak. Seven three seven Boak. Uh, Lewis, I've gone for BA A319 uh, BEA retro livery. Aaron, uh, A319 BEA and Nabil, uh, BEA or BEA A319. Oh, sorry, A320. A320. Okay, I can tell you that this one is, of course, very easy to spot because of the red tail. There you go. So B E A or British Airways A319 on that one. Nice and easy to start off with. So uh, two points go to Rob, Lewis, Darren, and Noel. Jack and Nabil will get a point each for the airline, but not the aircraft. Um, and no points to Alex on that one, but plenty to play for still, which is not a problem. Okay. Got the idea. Let's go on to number two. Oh. Nice, easy start for everybody there. Well done to those getting it. Like I said, do keep uh, score with the points that you uh, that you get. Very quickly, just going to do a very quick plug. Uh, top of the chat linked is a, uh, uh, a link to join the uh, membership or Copyright Elite Club, as we call it. Uh, if you want to support the channel that way, you make the most of the perks. You get a nice little badge next to your name and shout outs and everything else uh, to do with the channel. All right, everyone got an answer? Yep. 
good yep. stuff. Okay, so we're going to go. In fact, the order we got it in now. So, Jack, over to you. I'm going on for Air Baltic ATR 72. Air Baltic ATR 72. No. I've gone for a Dash 8, and I couldn't figure out the airline, so I've just gone for one that I know is red, so I've gone for Spice Jet. Spice Jet Dash 8 from Noel. Uh, Alex? I've gone for the Dash 8. I was going to put Malaysian, but I put Japan Airlines. Japan Airlines Dash 8. Um, Lewis? Um, I've gone for the ATR. I did think it was a Dash, but I've changed it to ATR. I think a Algeria. Algeria ATR. Uh, Darren? ATR 72 of Air Algeri. Air Algeri. Uh, Nabil? I've gone for ATR 72, but I could not figure out the airline. No worries. And Rob? ATR MIA. ATR and MEA. Uh, I can tell you that this uh, belonged to Air Algeria yes. and their ATR seventy two. Wow, nice. Ooh. What a surprise. Recently flown this on the flight sim. So that's where that picture comes from. Because <laughs> I put it on Volanta. So I uh, I'd yeah. seen this before. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so well done. Those that got the Air Algeria uh, ATR seventy two. I'm trying to think now because of the points. Um, I think Nabil got one. I think Jack got one. Noel with zero. Darren with two. Alex with zero. Lewis with two. And Rob with one, I believe, on that one. So very well done. All right. So on to the next one. Oh, oh God. Well, she cared gifting Ooh, one departure lounge membership there, going to Verwood Kitman, Steve Waldridge. Welcome along, or welcome back, I should say, to the uh, to the uh, Copyright Elite Club there. <clears throat> All right, everybody got an answer? Yeah. No one needs more time to think? Yeah, yeah. Go on. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll go in reverse order this time. So, uh, Rob, to you. E e A330, but clueless in the airline. Don't know. I will also mention, I'm not looking for specifics on this one either, so we're good. Uh, Lewis? Um, again, I, I've gone A330, but I don't know the airline on that one. Okay. Alex? If I'm get oh, yeah, go on. Sorry. Sorry, that's right. No, go on. Triple uh, seven Iberia. Triple seven Iberia. Darren. Extra point for the reg. Say again. Sorry. <laughs> extra point if I give you the registration of the aircraft. Even <laughs> no extra point if. O Y V K O. Sun class A three thirty Neo. Sun class A three thirty Neo. No. I've gone for A three thirty, and I didn't know if it was that Chinese B A knockoff that basically had. This the BA oh, delivery yes. bit was all yellow, but I can't think what the name is. So, uh, yeah, I know which one you're on about. I think it's something called like Lucky Air or something, something like that. I think, yeah, I think, I think. don't quote but me. It's on that clearly one. not that one. But... No, <laughs> <laughs> Jack, over to you. Sun class A330 Neo, Sun class A330 Neo, and uh, over to you, Nabil. Um, completely different. I went with the gold 737. Goal 737. I can tell you. Uh, this was the flight I tried to do today before realizing that it was going to go over the allotted time that I had before streaming with Nabil. It is, of course, the Sun Class A330 <laughs> Neo. Beautiful. I've not seen that before. No, not even. Yeah, caught me off guard. Fly so, Stockholm believe... Palmer every day. Darren, how come she not yes. registration? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the only one in their fleet. <laughs> Another uh, right, thing is, so... it's got an orange uh, engine cow. See, I, I wondered if it was Iberia, but yeah, I didn't think. Obviously, very mm -hmm. but yeah. I love this round because it just it throws people off, and I like it. It's good stuff. All right, uh, two points for Jack and Darren. Um, 
whoever said A330 gets a point. I think it was Rob Lewis. Rob and Lewis, I think, the only ones that said 330. I said 330. No, Noel said 330 as well. Yeah, mm. so one point to those that said the 330. Two points to Jack and Darren. Very good. All right. Good stuff. On to the next one. Keep them coming. Ooh. Lots of people saying in the chat they've never heard a sun class before. <laughs> But well done, those that are getting it right as well. Mm-hmm. Who could this Is this one... another one from your flight sim? No. <laughs> Sadly not. Oh, it might be a link. No, it's not, not this one. Everyone got an answer? Or roughly? Yeah. Does anyone need yeah, more time to think? So. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Lewis may think he has an answer. Uh, Rob, you got an answer? Yeah. Iceland Jack? here. Um, yep. Oh, hang on. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Iceland here. What was the model? Very key. Very key. Very key. Very key. We'll, go, we'll, go, we'll go with that order then. So, Rob, over to you. What, uh, Come back to me later. Like <laughs> Jumping in there, uh, Iceland Air A320. Iceland Air A320. Uh, Lewis. Um, I think this is a A310 Cypress Airways. It might be the old one. I'm not too sure. It looks A310 Cypress Airways. Uh, Alex. Uh, I've gone with 737 Lufthansa. 737 Lufthansa. Darren. The old Cypress Airways A310 scheme. Uh, Noel, I've gone for Euro Cypriot A310, but I think it's the um, old Cyprus Airways one actually. But I don't know, that's what I've written down. So, okay, uh, Jack, I've just gone for a 717. I didn't have a clue. 717 didn't have a clue. <laughs> um, and uh, hold on, there you go. Uh, and the bill over to you. Um, I've gone, I've gone for A321 Iceland. A321 Iceland Air. Okay. I was uh, hoping that somebody in particular would get this one because, and he did, oh, Cypress Airways A310. <laughs> Finally, it's worth being Cypriot, half Cypriot. <laughs> Threw that in there, and I, as soon as you were like, I'm not sure, I was like, oh, don't do this to me. Like, I really <laughs> didn't know. Yeah, at one point, and then I saw the wing, and I thought, so that does look like an A310 wing, and I thought, is this modern or not? <laughs> mm, one of my favourite liveries of all time, this. The motherland. Yeah. Uh, so, two points to uh, Darren and Lewis. Uh, those, I think Noel said A310, so he gets a point. And uh, nil point to everyone else. Plenty still to play for as we move on to the next one. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Who could this There's one? some scribbling in the middle. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> scribble, scribble, scribbles. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Change my mind, actually. I okay. I'm going right. to go for my second choice. Anybody need more time, or are we all good? We're all good. I'm good. No, all good. good. All good. good. Okie dokie. So, um, let's go to that one there. And we're going to go for Jack first, please. Asian Airlines A380. A380. Noel. Asiana A380. Asiana A380. Darren. Asiana A380. On A380, Alex. Yeah, I've gone for 380 Asiana. 380 Asiana, Lewis. Uh, Asiana A380. And Rob. Same again, Asiana A380. Yeah. 
Um, I missed Nabil on that one. Apologies. Asiana A380. I don't Let's know say. how I managed to miss that, but <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> that's all right. Um, yeah, sorry. That, that's for the description you gave them the uh, stream. Um, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, this is uh, the unmistakable Airbus A380 belonging to Asiana. Very nice. Mm. Very nice indeed. That would make a nice flight, no? Yeah, I think this, they, they've they got the 747 still running as well, haven't they, Asiana? They've got 747. Oh, I, mean, 747 yeah. I, actually, I actually put down 747 first thinking it was that, and then I actually saw yeah. the wider body at the top, and I thought, actually, not got a hump. Yeah, yeah I did want to fly with them at some point. Yes, that was the experience. That was exactly what the <laughs> <it> was. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, two points across the board for everybody for uh, for getting that one. So well done. So we have. Hang on. Okay, we're halfway there already. Plenty of. All right, uh, on to the next one. Oh. 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 <clears throat> Who in the devil could this belong to? Yeah, football's now irrelevant for, for the rest of the year. Oh, Jack, I was hoping we'd not talk about football today. <laughs> <laughs> but go on, tell us why. Uh, that's uh, um, worst London club in history. The, uh, the, the uh, treble winners from, from last year. So Arsenal beat Man City in the most cont controversial way I well, wasn't it eight sec uh, eight eighty eighty uh, yeah, yeah. seconds left to go or something? Was yeah. it? Yeah, in the first minute. Uh, yeah, typical Arsenal. <laughs> Can't watch it at a moment because of rice. <laughs> Breaks me heart. Are you West Ham? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm West Ham too. I was thinking about wearing the uh, the champions uh, top that I got on. There. Uh, <laughs> um, this is going to be a rele relegation battle this oh, season. Yeah. So sorry, Tom McGraw. Going back with Sam, <laughs> you've got a plane to catch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone got an answer for this one? Yep, 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 yep. 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 Cool. Uh, we are going to go in reverse order. So, Rob, over to you for that one. Eastern uh, TriStar L1011. Eastern TriStar Lewis. Uh, yeah, Eastern TriStar. Eastern TriStar Alex. I've gone seven two seven L L. Seven two seven L L. Uh, Darren. Eastern TriStar. Eastern TriStar. Noel. Eastern Airlines L twenty eleven TriStar. Eastern Airlines. Jack. I've gone for the uh, TriStar by Pet Aerolinius Argent Argentin. Argentinas. You don't yeah. want Pepsi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, Nabil, over to you. Um, MD11 Kuwait. Kuwait MD11. Uh, I can tell you this nice little gem. Mm. Eastern oh, yes. L1011. What a beauty of an aircraft. Mm. I, I have to say, that's nearly as a distinctive scheme as the Condor scheme is now. Mm. Hmm. In some ways, don't get me this started. Much on nicer. That, uh... Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> this is, is nice. <laughs> oh, beauty. Very good. Very good indeed. Um, a very nice color scheme. Very simple, but uh, very elegant at the same time. But uh, let's have a look. So, those that said Eastern and TriStar, two points to you. I think who said, someone say TriStar? But didn't get the no, uh, Jack did, yeah. Jack didn't get the thing because he went with uh, Aerolinius. I'm on the alcohol thing, but not <laughs> but uh, all very well done. <clears throat> Scores are looking interesting already, so very good. All right, on to we've got one, two, three, four to go. So here we go. Ooh. 
believe it or not, this one is not as blurry as the others. You wouldn't think it, but, it but it's not, I promise. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Matt Smith saying that the TriStar is stunning aircraft. Um, Steve watching uh, Voa Kitman, old American vibes. He's a big fan of the old chrome American livery. So you, you got to admit, back, back in the day, back in the day, the, the aircraft looked so much, so much better. Indeed. You, you had more variety back then. Yeah, exactly. Not so much now. And there are more aircraft types as well. <clears throat> I'd have given anything to see a caravel fly. You've not seen one fly? No, I'm not that old. <laughs> I, am. I am, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was around when Concorde was around, but that's about it. <laughs> it's a bit quicker. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Everybody got an answer? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so we are going to go to. Let me get that off screen. Trying to keep an eye on the uh, the old chat at the same time. Uh, we're going to start with you, Jack. So, uh, China Eastern Airbus A three twenty one. The bill. I've gone with China Eastern, but uh, uh, come on. Amrea 195, if you can focus. Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. We can see it. Can Just about. It. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Um, Noel. China Airlines A321 Neo. China Airlines A321 Neo. Darren, over to you. And again, China Airlines A321 Neo. Uh, Alex. Pure guess on this one. This is really not my round. A220 Fiji Airlines. A220 Fiji. Uh, Lewis? Um, not sure. China Eastern A321 Neo. And Rob? Uh, China Airlines A350. China Airlines A350. I can tell you this one belongs to China Airlines yeah. And an A321 Neo. I will take a point for A321. Not oh, looking for okay. specifics, but I will take uh, A321. But yes, China Airlines uh, and their A321. Very nice in that livery as well, must admit. Mm. Uh, Very deceiving. So... That one. Hey. Very deceiving that one. Really looks mm. like China Eastern. That was the that was the idea. <laughs> that was the idea. <laughs> cool. I can't just give the points away. That's not oh, how it works. I was hoping that was the case. <laughs> not how it works. Um, okay, so points for those that said A321 or China Airlines. Uh, as we go on to the next one. Let's see. Hmm. Oh. Me, 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 me. Agreeing with uh, what Matt Smith is saying. Matt Smith saying every airline should have a few retros in their fleet. It would be oh, nice. We got Darren for a start. <laughs> Are you sure you're having Pepsi? There's nothing like dodgy in there, is there? <laughs> the touch of vodka in there. Yeah, Jack, are yeah. they saying uh, pre vodka Pepsi now or what? No, no, no. You've not been sniffing paint or anything, have you? <laughs> it's all them fumes of the burnt food, isn't it? Oh, it's all the e-numbers from Smarties he's been having. Yeah. <laughs> Christ, goodness me. Matt Smith asking, is Jack on the shots? <laughs> Dear. Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you said A321 last round, give yourself a point. Bruce says Jack's on the glue. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got an answer? Again, not looking yep. for the specifics on this one. Yep. 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 Yeah. Thought I'd be nice this time and not do specifics. Um, so we're going to start with um, 
Rob on this one. Uh, Etihad 787. Etihad 787. Lewis. Yeah, same again. Etihad 787. Alex. A350. I had a complete mind blank and couldn't think of the uh, carrier. Okay. Um, A350. Uh, da, da, da. Darren. I was going to go Etihad A350, but then I changed to 787. So Etihad 787. Noel? Etihad 787-10. Uh, Jack. I'm going to be very wrong now. So Etihad A350. <laughs> Use a dash nine, he loses a point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was that, Jack? What was your answer? Etsy had A350. Etsy had A350. And the bill. Um, Royal Brunei 787. I did change my mind last minute, but it was too late to write it down. <laughs> I went for Etihad because, yeah, I noticed the uh, black underneath the tail. Okay. Or the grey, right. but yeah. So, Nabil put Etihad, then changed his mind, will probably kick himself. It is yeah. the Etihad, 787. Mm. <laughs> of course I will. Yeah. <laughs> dash nine. Dash nine, I'm not looking for specifics. As long as you get the aircraft Thank right, it's all that matters. Thank but... you. <laughs> so, points for those that said 787 and Etihad. I was getting cocky well. then, weren't I? <laughs> you can tell he's been champion for three goes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, two to go. Whose is this one, please? Uh, again, I promise you, they're all blurred at the same level. I think sometimes I think the resolution of the picture kind of makes it worse than it actually is. So, who does that belong to? What well, spelling might be wrong? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Have we got an answer? Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Might look for specifics on this. I don't know. <laughs> See how I feel. <laughs> All right. If we've got an answer, let's go for what you've got. So, Nabil, over to you. Um, going for EasyJet A320. EasyJet A320. Jack. So, I've gone for a Sunwing 737 Max. Sunwings 737 Max. Uh, Noel. I've gone for a 737 and I think it's Corindon, but I'm not entirely sure now. Uh, Darren. I'll go for Corridon 737. Corridon 737. Alex? Yep, same here. 737. Corridon. Uh, Lewis? Uh, 737 um, Sun, Sun Air. 737 from Sun, Sun Air. And Sun Wing, rather. Uh, and Rob? Corridon 737. Corridon 737. So this one is, of course, hey. Corandon yeah. Airline 737 Max. But I'll take 737 oh, nice. because I'm feeling generous this evening. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> got an 18 you there, have so. got, the, uh, got the airline right. <laughs> <laughs> don't, be, don't be thanking me for that. Yeah, don't be thanking me. But uh, yeah, so points across the board there for everybody. Uh, I think Nabil was the only one that didn't get any points there, but that is fine as we move on to the last one of the round. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just sort that out. Mm-hmm. 
Lynn saying my microphone sometimes cutting out. Hopefully now that's a lot better. I've changed it over. <clears throat> Give yourself some points for the uh, for the seven three seven. As we go on to the answers for this one, everyone got an answer. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Let's take that off screen uh, and let's start opposite order. Rob, over to you. South African A three forty. South African A340, Lewis. Yep, South African Airlines A340. Alex. Same here. Um, A340, South African Airlines. Lovely. Darren. South African A340, 600. Noel. South African A340, 600. Jack. South African A340, 600. And the bill. <laughs> South African mm -hmm. A340. Mm -hmm. South African A340. A nice one to end on. Of course, it's the South African A340. Nice. I just looked Beautiful. at the long pencil. Mm. Oh, yes. Hate it. <laughs> what? Still a pleasure to see a Bournemouth. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Lovely. Mm -hmm. It was a nice plane. Mm. Beautiful. Good stuff. All right. Round one done. If anyone needs a drinks break, go for it. But let me tell you the scores first. So currently in what how many people have we got? One, two, three, four, it's seven, isn't there? So in seventh place, uh, with six points is Alex. Um, in sixth place with seven points is Nabil. Uh, then it gets interesting. So in fifth with 12 is Jack. Uh, in fourth with 15 is Rob. In third with 16 is Noel. In second with 17 is Lewis. Uh, and leading the way with 20 is Darren. Wow. Wow. Yes. wow. Very close. Oh. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. Right. If anyone right, wants no, to have a, a quick sort of drinks break or time for a drink, and yeah, we say what you need yeah. to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I will have a look through the chat here. Um, let us know what you're up on the uh, on the scores. Let me know what you got. Oh yeah, can, can I just say, no, no th thank you so, so much for the uh, likes on the, uh, on the post. It means. Oh no, it's all right. Hey, I like looking at just pictures of planes on Instagram and stuff like that. So I, just, <laughs> I just follow anybody who does pictures of planes. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it's quite good. Yeah, they're really good. good, good well, whilst we have a quick momentary break, um, we'll show the picture that Jack's asked me to show. Basically, holding me at gunpoint to show it. Where do we go? People in the chat. Ooh. So, Jack, before you say anything. People in the chat, I'd like you to get the, the symbols ready. Just don't send them yet, but get the symbols ready. Jack, where was this picture taken? Um, Ria 2023. You mentioned it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> there we go. People are putting the uh, the uh, no entry signs in there. It's our little thing that we have. But every time Jack mentions Ria, because he hasn't yeah. stopped talking about it since it's nearly three weeks ago. But it's a nice picture, that Jack. Very nice picture. Thank you very much. I mean, that that was um that as you came came from from the uh, from Wharton, which is um Ian Hartley. He is actually yeah, but, well not based there, but uh, goes there quite Nearby. a bit. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah, very nice. Fancy doing the walk around on that. Look at all them red bits to take off. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'd miss one. <laughs> Look at all those bits that you could take home with it. I mean, uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. And just a quick question here from Gemma Rowe. Um, just putting that up on screen. She says, I would like to ask Noel Phillips a question if possible. Was it the uh, Shin Shinkansen? or the local train uh, he ended up paying for twice in his latest video. I'm off to Japan in six weeks. and really nervous now. It was the Shinkansen, um, the bullet train, I think. As far as I could work out, that's the one that they charged me twice for because they, like, I bought my ticket, but then it only gave me, like, one bit. But everybody in the comments has been telling me you need to have two tickets and feed them both through at the same time or something. You need to get a, like, a, a 
ticket for the train and then you need to get a high speed supplement and then there's like another supplement if you want like a certain seat. It's really complicated. Um people are slating me in the comments saying I should have gone prepared and I like, like this is so complicated. <laughs> Don't know why you can't just have a QR code on your phone and just get them to scan it. But no, it's um, nothing like if, that. If but, you've yeah. never been though, it is so hard. I mean I remember uh, nearly getting a fine for being in uh, Switzerland for taking the wrong ticket at the uh, same as you, like the ticket machine. Mm. And uh, all because it was slightly, it was one stop out of the zone that I paid for, thinking I'd got an all-day travel card. And yeah. they wanted to charge me another 150 euros just because I got a ticket inspected and, and it all was found to be wrong. So you just never know. Yes, Even though you're converting to England, uh, English, it's still sort of, it's never perfect, is it, really? No, no, exactly. Apparently I ended up skipping like the fare barriers and stuff at, in Japan. I didn't really realise I had, but yeah, apparently they, they sort of slammed shut on me as I walked through, and apparently that's what they do if you haven't got a valid ticket or something, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm sorry, Japan, Japan if I end up going back. <laughs> there you go. Uh, hopefully that helps you, uh, Gemma. Uh, as we move on to a round that we're going to bring back, uh, and it may test um, a few of your knowledge jizz if that's even an English sentence, but we'll go for it. Um, we're bringing back Random oh, Roundel. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, I love the roundels. Oh. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with this one, it's fairly straightforward. It's a bit like the Blurred game, except the, these aren't Blurred. Um, I'm going to show you some roundels. You can see on this, uh, sort of on the aircraft there, and the O in roundel. You can see that is what a roundel is. You see those on military aircraft or little, um, you know, little designs that they have to represent their air force. Uh, with a slight twist this evening, um, these are not present ones. These are from the past um, or old roundels that are no longer in use. Uh, I just need you to tell me, basically, for, I don't know, let's say, let's throw two points each. Um, the We've got seven in total, so 14 points up for grabs. I just need you to tell me, basically, what country it belongs to. And that's it. That's all I need to tell you. No, no regiment, no squadron, no nothing else. Just tell me the country it belongs to. Um, so two points up for grabs. Let's see how well you know your uh, military knowledge as we go for the first one. <clears throat> I'll also tell you when they were in use. So whose is this one, please? Oh, well, that's not round for a start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? There's always one. <laughs> the airport building, isn't it? I see them along the airport. <laughs> There's always one. God. Just can't help themselves. <laughs> Okay, and I shall give you the uh, the rundown basically straight after. They call them roundels, but not literally as a roundel. So I'll give you obviously some more time to think about. It. I'm not going to rush this one because it, obviously you will need um, a bit of time to. Uh... I have no luck in this. <laughs> no idea. Is that the old checkerboard from Kai Tak? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can go one better. David Bone says that's the ILS. So. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So shout when you've got an answer. Got it. I think I've got oh, well. it. I'm going to get something. There. Yeah. I'll I'll answer it. <laughs> or just, I'll I say answer. It. If you've written something down, it may not be. This is where I go back down. <laughs> okay, so two points up ground. Oh, hang on. Well, it's not there. there we go. I think we're good. Okay, so uh, just make sure we're good. Everything's frozen a little bit. Just bear with me for two seconds. Just let me know we're good. Yeah, 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 all good. All good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I'm, there's obviously a little like stormy B 
bits in the air still, I think, but we're all good. Okay, so let's go with the answers. So, Nabil, over to you, please. Uh, Switzerland or Switz? It's gone for Switzerland. Um, Jack? Polish Air Force. British Air Force. Noel? I've gone for the Czech Republic because it's checked. <laughs> Czech Republic because it's checked. Uh, Darren? Polish Air Force. Poland. <coughs> Polish Air Force. Alex? Yeah, I've gone Poland. Poland as well. Uh, Lewis? Uh, Swiss. Switzerland. Swiss. And Rob? Poland. Poland. Yeah, uh, all of you have been to Riot. I don't, I don't have the, uh, obviously, other pictures and stuff, but I can tell you this is uh, the Roundel of Poland, uh, and this was used between 1921 and 1993. Want to know what they did differently to it? No. Yeah, did they make it round? They just, they, no, they didn't <laughs> make it round. <laughs> they didn't make it round. Let me, uh, let me show you. I'll leave that on screen. I, I, normally, I wouldn't do this, but I'm going to anyway. Need the um, red, white, and the white red. Uh, pretty much. Let me show you. Once I, uh, I, I got there, one, one, that, one that aircraft that, that I saw, saw this year was the, uh, the uh, MIG. Sure, the oh my god! Oh, Jack, where did you where did you see that? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what time was it, Jack? Yeah, yeah. where was it, Jack? <laughs> Where'd you, see it? Where'd you see it, Jack? Yeah. Here, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on, Jack. Where'd you see it? <laughs> Real. In the chat, folks. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so this is the old, the old Polish one. Here's what they did to make it brand new. Oh, oh I spun it round. Yeah, very you spun it round. <laughs> You know, if you're colorblind, you're screwed on that one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm also not going to do that too quickly because it may set people's epilepsy. <laughs> <laughs> That's also the last thing I want. <laughs> Goodness me. Okay, so two points to those that said Poland. Hopefully you get the idea uh, as we go on to our next, uh, next one. Is that pasta, Jack? Okay, what's the snacks, Jack? Uh, Ready Maltesers. to eat pasta? Maltesers. Maltesers. Don't burn them and all of you. They're better in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't encourage him, because he will do it. <laughs> all right, for 40 minutes? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Five minutes, 800, isn't it? <laughs> 40 minutes and high. <laughs> That'll be his dinner, then. Yeah. Taking hot chocolate to a new level. <laughs> okay, everybody got an answer for this one? Yep. 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 Yeah. Wonderful. Reverse order. Rob, over to you. Brazil. Brazil. Oh. Lewis. Brazil. Brazil. Alex. Yeah, I've gone Brazil. Brazil. Darren? Brazil. Brazil. Uh, Noel? Um, Namibia. <laughs> Namibia. Uh, Jack? No idea. Brazil. Brazil and <laughs> and the Bill. I've gone for Afghanistan. No, I'm joking. It's Brazil. <laughs> How does anybody know this? <laughs> It was pretty obvious, awesome, wasn't awesome. it? The flag was in there. Yeah, it's the flag. Yeah. Brazil from the bill. It is, of course, Brazil. Uh, used between uh, 1943 and 1945. It's a very short-lived one. That's what threw me off. It was only for them two years. So not before <laughs> my time. <laughs> All right. Very, very American style. Yeah, it is, it is isn't it? Yeah. Right, two points. I'd love to know what, what aircraft actually do, do have actually Brazil. 
Did you see any at Riyadh or? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just embryos. Yeah. Embryos near Boston. All right. Round rule number three. Ooh. Really pushing it, uh, pushing your knowledge barriers here. <clears throat> Good stuff. Okay. Everybody got an answer. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Or or something at least. All right. Let's see if anyone gets this one. So we're going to start with Nabil first. Random one, South Africa. Random one, South Africa. Jack. Right, so I've gone for the Finnish Air Force. Finnish Air Force. No. South Africa. South Africa. Darren? Did you think there was a reindeer, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. South Africa. South Africa. Uh, Alex? I was going to put South Africa, but I didn't know, so I wrote the Congo. The Congo. Uh, Lewis? Santa Claus. No, I'm joking. South Africa. <laughs> Santa Claus. Got to take your first answer, I'm afraid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> uh, Rob, over to you. Springboks, South African. Springboks. As well, yeah, I can yeah. reveal to you that that is definitely not a reindeer. Um, this belongs to South Africa between... That was a complete guess, I swear. Yeah, but very good. I was, I was like, well, he does know his stuff. And then you said that was a guess. I was no, like, I don't. Oh, I swear. Very good guess. <laughs> when it comes to military planes, I am clueless. Completely. <laughs> very good guess. Uh, so 1947 to 1958 for this one. So very well done. Two points to those who got it. Uh, Alex, probably kicking yourself that you didn't put South Africa. Yeah, <laughs> just slow yeah. nod. Like, yeah. All right, <laughs> on to the fourth. Oh, God. Hmm. Matt Smith put Santa Claus Royal Air Force for, uh, for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself some points if uh, you can get them right. Like I said, each round, let us know uh, what you've uh, what you've been getting. Let's see how close to these guys you are. Oh, Let me know when you've got something. Yep. Yep. I haven't yet. I, uh, um. Right. Yeah, I have. Okay, Lewis has something. Let's see what that is in a second. We're gonna go opposite way. I think. Uh, we'll go for Rob first. Irish, Irish Air Force. Irish Air Force, uh, Lewis. Uh, mine's a complete guess. I'm going through the colours. I've gone Irish. I, yeah, I wasn't too sure at all. Complete guess for the Irish. Alex? Yeah, complete guess. I went with India. India. Good shout. Darren? Irish Air Corps. Irish. Uh, no. I went for Korea because it looks like Korean Air's logo. Yeah, I Probably see you thinking. Different colour. Jack? By the Lord, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Finland, then, yeah. Jack, <laughs> <laughs> they had two of their planes at uh, Fairford. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Did you see them? The uh, uh, um, one was the Euro Europe, wasn't it? 
I don't know. Was it one three yeah, five and the? Uh... All right, you're posh tart. Put put that cap down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nabil, where was he? Uh, I'll put Namibia. Namibia. The complete guesswork again. To... Oh, that's on, all right. So go. this round all belongs to. <clears throat> By the Lord Jesus. It is the Irish. Wow. It belongs to them. Uh, wow. Between 1939 and 1954. That was a complete guess for me. That was either going to be India or Irish. I really guessed that one. To, to be fair, I, it, has, it has not, not changed much. I say it's the same, isn't it? Virtually. Same as now, yeah. I think. I think it's white and it was on, though. It's an old white as well. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. See, that's what threw me, because I didn't see white, so I wasn't too sure if it was Irish. Good stuff. All right. Three to go. <clears throat> Ooh. It's not quite round. Shall but... I salute? <laughs> it's not round, but who does it belong to? Can we get find a friend? <laughs> give me, give me a call. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll see I if I can. Remember, I just remembered I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody loves me anymore. I <laughs> 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 say so you could always call me, and I'll, I'll see if I can help you. But... All right. <clears throat> Everyone, anyone got anything written down? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Let's go for Nabil. It was between Thai and Norwegian, so I went with Norwegian. Went with Norwegian. Jack? I got to Thailand. It's gone for Thailand. Noel? Thailand. Thailand as well. Uh, Darren? Well, if I got this wrong, I'd have to leave the country. It's Norway. Alex? Yeah, I've done Thailand. Thailand. Lewis? I did start with Denmark, but I've changed to Norway because I, I thought just, I had a hunch. And Rob? Norwegian. Norwegian. Bring it up on screen. Darren, what did you say? Norway. Norwegian Air Royal Norwegian Air Force. Pack your bags, boy. No, I'm kidding. Oh. It's still it's no way. <laughs> oh, you got me as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was about to fly way. over to Darren and help him pack. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can pay for way. the ticket. <laughs> uh, the Norwegian um, roundel that was um, active in 1914, I believe. I don't think it says when. Oh, sorry. 1914 to 1940. That's why Darren remembers it. <laughs> what <did you> <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I'm going down, I'm going down fine. <laughs> no worries, mate. It's over out now. All right, two to go. It's come to fight, not play. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, two to go. This one, please. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, nice. Um, I don't think it's quite nice. Oh, I think yeah, that's quite cool. And I know there's going to be lots of people going the yin and the yang, but... No. Lots of people going uh, in the chat. Lots of people were saying Thailand as well. So you can see where it throws people off a little bit. Well, she Kev uh, says, should have named this section not so roundel. Yeah, that's fair. Remember, two points if you get these correct in the chat. <clears throat> If you are enjoying the quiz so far, or the game show, I'll keep calling it technically it's a game show. If you are enjoying the game show, uh, do uh, consider leaving a like on the video. It helps us out immensely. and also helps with the uh, YouTube algorithm, which we all know is a wonderful thing. Mm. That we just... Hence the sarcasm. <laughs> all right. Everyone got uh, anything written down? Yep. Yeah, 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 pure guess, yeah. but I've got something. Wicked. Okay. I'd be amazed if anyone gets this. So we're going to go Rob first. Indonesia. Indonesia says Rob. Uh, Lewis. I think it's Japan. 
Lewis going for Japan. Alex. Yeah, same with me. My first thought, Japan. Japan. Darren. Singapore Air Force. Singapore Air Force. Uh, Noel. Japan. I said Malaysia initially, but then changed it. Japan. Uh, Jack. Republic of Korean Air Force. Republic of Korean Air Force and the bill. Gone with the uh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. I'm sorry. There we go. Well, one of you knows their stuff. Uh, this is the roundel of the Singapore Air Force. Wow. Oh. Uh, which Darren gets the full two points. 1973 to 1990 for this one. And that is pretty cool. I like that as a roundel. Yeah, it's mm. Nice. Right. Very, very cool. So well done. Anybody <coughs> a quick nosy in the chat? Did anyone get that? <clears throat> Don't think anyone got it. No one got it in the chat. So uh no worries at all. Last one for the round. Again. Oh, no, no pun intended, Ooh. of course, but uh last one for the round. Oh, man. I know it, but what is it? Out when you've got something written down. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. I was like, okie dokie. Let's see. Uh, we're going to go for how I've got it written down on this uh, little sheet here. So uh, we're going to go, actually, no, how it is on here. So, Jack, over to you first. I've gone for the Spanish Air Force. Dark fucking bastards. Uh, Spanish Air Force. Uh, Noel. Complete guess, but I put Oman. Oman. Uh, Alex. I've uh, gone for Qatar. Qatar. Uh, Lewis. I've gone for Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Uh, Darren. Not Tongo, which I'll take. I think it's India. Tongo, India. Um, Nabil. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you ask me? Because no, I actually couldn't hear him. Oh, sure go. Yeah, sure go. Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Don't don't um, remove my spellings. That's right. Uh, and Rob. <laughs> Colombian. Which one? Colombia. Colombia. Columbia. Okay. One that actually has caught everybody out because no points awarded for this one. Let's have a look. Anybody in the chat get it? Let's have a look. Lots of people going India. Lots of people going Brunei. Gemma Rowe has no idea. Then people from Pakistan. Uh, but it actually belongs to, or belonged to, Sri Lanka. Oh, wow. Mm. 1951 to 2010. At least one of them caught you out. That's the main thing. But uh, good stuff. All right. So another drinks break. Um, but we'll go through the, the uh, points as it stands. So uh, last place, Alex with 10 points. Um, then we have uh, Nabil in sixth with 13 points. Um, then in joint fourth, or joint third, I should say, yeah, joint third is Jack and Noel on 18 points each. Joint second is Lewis and Rob with 25. Wow. Uh, and Darren leading the way with 32. Ooh. Mm. Uh, we have lost Alex. I'm sure he will come back. But yes, so drinks break. If anyone wants to disappear, yeah, drink, toilet, whatever you want to do. <laughs> uh, Gemma Rowe, are we two points for each correct one for that round? Yes, two points uh, for um, yeah, two points if you uh, if you get that. Correct. Oh no, you've got the wine. Huh? Uh, What's that? She's on the wine. 
Hey. Who's on the one? Hey. Lewis. No, no. Rocker. Oh. Body, body. <laughs> Did say I the only aviation gin. I was hoping it might help me, but it's not. Don't drink. Yeah. <laughs> um, is it nice gin? It's no? nice. It's really nice. Yeah, I keep it yeah, in my little good. cabinet here. So yeah, it's very nice. Okay, that's the. Um... Uh, brew, isn't it? Sorry. Oh, uh, is it? I don't know. Pretty, pretty I just it saw it in the shop and I thought that's appropriate. I could have it in the in my little cabinet here. So there's an aviation whiskey as well. I want to um, get that at some point. So, yeah. Not the same company, but it's another company that do like an aviation whiskey. So yeah. 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 So any um any new types planned for you? Uh, planned? No. I've, I'm... You can't squeeze an AR twenty one in. ARJ yeah, I'd like in to China. in Indonesia because they're flying them. Like, Transnistria are flying them down there, so I want to fly yeah. one of those at some point. But no, I'm, I'm, I've got some Antonov flights coming up though in a couple of weeks, so oh. looking forward to those. Oh, what, in the... Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Yeah, nice. Southern skies. Yeah. So flying like there's like these little hopper routes that go all the way around. So I'm going to be on one of those for a bit. So that should be yeah, fun. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm doing Suriname Airways as well, which is quite nice on the A340. So, when, when you plan stuff to do your flights, mm. do you actually get any tips off other YouTubers? Like, I mean, you're friends with Car here, aren't you? Do you any tips off other people? Yeah, I, I watch some people and I think, you bastard, I wanted to do that. But yeah, <laughs> 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 but they, they do give me ideas sometimes, you know, and um, yeah, but generally yeah. we've all kind of had the similar idea anyway. But then I'll, I will, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But not many people tend to do these more random off the beaten track. Like flights, though, yeah, so, yeah. so I, I like Facebook yeah. special flights enthusiast group is my friend. I spend a lot of my time in there and seeing people mm. like, oh, I'm going to yeah. try that now. So, yeah, yeah got, a, uh, got, a, got a quick, quick, well, two quick questions. They're actually both for Noel. First one from Brandon Plain Spotter 23 says, Question for Noel is, Do you want to fly global airlines when or more if? They start operating. You know what? The guy that um, runs that messed up me an email last week. He wanted me to come to like a press event or something that they're doing in London. So I'm, I'm hoping I will be when they, if slash when they start. But yeah, yeah, definitely. It's an interesting sort of setup, isn't it? Yeah. Which, um, mm. Very often are you, these are you things. Going the, are you, you going to the press thing or? No, because I um, it was actually when I was in Oshkosh last week. So um, yeah, so I never I, I wasn't able to go. Unfortunately. I think Josh I went. Say, um, uh, yeah, I was going to say if you were out. if you were going, then uh, you can give him a nudge to reply to my email. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, I don't want, I'll, I'll respond to it. I'll, I'll respond to it shortly, and then like I've been waiting about a month. So yeah, I'll, I think he's just he's been traveling around a country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an, it's an interesting me setup, me. and like it's not very often that they start these massive grand schemes with buying actual planes. No, no. Where they're going to? So I don't know. I don't know what's this or something. I don't know. I have a hunch there's something going on there, and I don't know quite know what. But this it doesn't seem entirely right. But anyway, mm. it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to see if they actually get oh, off the ground. Mm. Uh, Gemma yeah. Rowe, with more info uh, needed. Um, while we are on a break, does anyone know anything about the airline star flyer in Japan? I'm flying from Osaka to Haneda uh, with them, and never oh. heard of them. They've got an amazing livery. I do like their livery. It's like black with silver writing on it or something. It's really small. Mm. Yeah. I think about as much as you're going to get. <laughs> I was going to fly on them, but I never got the chance. But I think they're actually a low-cost airline, I believe. I think so. And Which is strange because they've got like the most beautiful livery that you'd ever – you know, it does not, does not mm. look low-cost at all. But, yeah. No, do you reckon we'll ever – do? we'll see uh, boom surface or not, do you reckon? I don't know. I have no idea. They, they – I don't know. They, 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 like United Airlines were interested, weren't they? But mm. I don't know. It's it's a one thing saying you're interested, and one thing whether it actually happens or not, isn't it? Apparently, so. they pulled out, didn't they? Oh, have they? Oh, okay. Apparently, yeah. I've yeah. heard somewhere. Yeah. It's a bit like how Concord was, wasn't it? Really, it all start off, and then they all pull out. Yeah. 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 I think, yeah. I think, I think, the the I think the engines are going to be the problem for them. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like, did they actually find something in the end? Because there was a smaller engine company or something, wasn't there? Or is that gone sort of 
I thought Rolls Royce. I thought Rolls Royce and the yeah, they pulled out. Pulled they out pulled out. Yeah, but another one's supposed to have taken over, but again, it's gone quiet. So, mm. yeah, it's a shame. It would be nice if it did actually go ahead, but mm. I don't know if there's much demand for it these days, especially with all the climate stuff going on and everything. And it's yeah. just like. Yeah. It's a particularly good time to be launching something like that. But, yeah. mm. All right, let's move on to our penultimate round, which a lot of you, again, just, oh, you adore this one. You're so happy when the time it comes up. Get your pens ready. Time to get your weak hands ready as well. I'm kidding. It's not really. It's the price is shite. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I could just feel the death stares from Rob as I say that. Like, <laughs> at least he's not roundels again. No. <laughs> you never know. There may be some being sold on eBay. But <laughs> yeah. there you go. So the price is shite. For those that haven't seen this, I'll explain the rules for this one. So I have had a look on the deepest, darkest uh, parts of eBay UK, which again is very important to uh, note. Uh, everything that we are about to see, you have to guess the buy now price. And of course, the key figure in all of this is the fact that it is eBay and you will see some things on there that you think should be cheap and are expensive and things that are expensive that are cheap. And if you want to know about the guessing side of it, you can just ask Jack how good he is at this game. <clears throat> so we're going to make things very interesting. We're going to have five points for uh, the closest. And you must not go over must be under so first thing I'm going to give you is this <laughs> Wait, you it it but... <laughs> we're all good everyone knows it's a very good film trouble you can't be serious <laughs> 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 right. Not that you need just want to let you know we're all carrying on you <laughs> yeah. not that you need any uh, explanation but it is the airplane DVD um, hmm. the product has passed our meticulous quality checks and is guaranteed to be in great condition uh, I, I just need to know what that is because I, I've got it as well so <laughs> how much is it worth <laughs> the price uh, of uh, what eBay has on uh, this one Please. Not quite Blu-ray though, is it? Who <laughs> <laughs> watches Blu-rays Blu anymore? Who <laughs> watches Blu-rays anymore? Gemma Rowe dreading this one. So not the eBay round. You love it, <laughs> like everyone else, and love it. Okay, so a bit more time to think about this one because obviously there are five points up for grabs. Could change. Fact, you give up drink. I've got hey. it. Hey, the you give up drink. <laughs> <laughs> I think a good day to start. <laughs> <laughs> Swings and roundabouts, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Everyone got a price. Yep. 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 And stuff. Okay. So we're going to take that off screen. Uh, and we're going to start with um, Alex first, please. Your uh, your price for the uh, DVD of Airplane. I've gone for £7.99, but I'm probably going to be miles away. £7.99. Rob. £4.99. £4.99. Uh, uh, Nabil. Going with the ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. There you go. Noel. Uh, sorry, not Noel. Darren. Sorry, forgive me. Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Um, Lewis. Uh, Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Uh, now Noel. Uh, Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. And Jack. Eight pound fifty. Eight pound fifty. Uh, okay, first one. Uh, all of you are massively over, so no points. <laughs> the, uh, the key things to know were the fact that it's passed uh, meticulous quality checks and is guaranteed to be in great condition, which means um, it's not brand new. Clearly, um, 
679 of these have been sold already. Um, so that will tell you. You probably want to pay one pound eighty nine for it. Really? <laughs> I won't sell mine then. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep hold of it. It's worth more than that. Yeah. Do you want to know who the seller is? It's worth more for the jokes. You want to know? Yeah. It's the fun, you want to know who the seller is? Music magpie. Music magpie, where everything is. Wow. Well, could have told us that. <laughs> no. Why would I do that? Be easy. <laughs> well, we're assuming they're just like you know greedy fake sellers, not companies. <laughs> Now, I told you things that you think could be expensive are, ex are not expensive and vice versa. Yes, why, why wouldn't you just watch it on Netflix instead of buying the DVD? <laughs> or YouTube. Exactly. Why Jack? Or YouTube. It's going to be on there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's why I said to Jack. I or said, well, he watches Blu-rays. Yeah, he watches Blu-rays. Um, yeah, lots of people um, surprised at that. People are going quite low as well for the prices. The most I saw, I think, was Link Keeble with £25. Um, <laughs> Max went 40 quid, but you know. Um, I've been drinking. Yeah, and free postage as well, Bruce points out. Gemma Rose says, Is that all? Might buy one. Uh, hmm. Brandon Plain Spotter says, Oh dear, your postcode is showing. No, it's not. That is not my postcode. So, fooled you all. Um, right, on to the next one. Um, that's why I'm happily showing it because it's not my postcode. Um, right, on to the next one then. Oh, well, flown on that. Can I be back? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a uh, British Airways A319 um, cutout registration um, Golf uh, Echo uniform Oscar Charlie. Genuine registration cut from the retired and scrapped aircraft. I have both available, so our other side, but we're looking to have just one, I think. Just the one. Um, 12 watches which is always good. Um, and it was withdrawn from use the 8th of March, 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, not really much else to speak of in terms of what the actual thing is, because I think it's self-explanatory, really. So it's a tail registration cutout from the actual A319. How much uh, would you pay... You need dangle that from your keys. <laughs> I mean, if you want to drag it along the floor, you know, <laughs> it's massive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't lose the keys, uh, for those playing at home, uh, it is from the actual plane, not you know. So it's not it's not the smallest thing in the world. So you imagine, you know, if you're boarding the back of the plane and you see the registration, that's that's how big it is. Presumably the reason he's selling both of them is because his wife's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> we thought he was going to fit on his keys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bought a key ring and it turned out... <laughs> yeah, yeah. What have you done with that thing? <laughs> what do you mean it costs this much to get a key ring? Yeah. Can't even get in the back of a boot. <laughs> yeah. No, I've had to strap a key ring to the roof of a car before. <laughs> okay, everyone got a price? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Um I told you with a you, you dipstick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the uh, tail registration cutout from the actual A319, uh, we're gonna go in the bill first. <clears throat> I'm probably way off, but uh, I've gone with the. Uh, come on, fifty nine ninety nine. If you can see the reflection somehow, fifty nine okay. ninety nine. The only thing is not focusing on. <laughs> uh, Jack, one hundred and twenty quid. One hundred and twenty quid. No. One thousand two hundred and ninety eight pounds. One thousand two hundred and ninety eight pounds. Darren, it's become Jack. Four nine four hundred ninety nine pounds. I flew on it in June two thousand nineteen. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, Alex. Uh, I've gone with eighty five pound. Eighty five quid, Lewis. One hundred and forty five pound. One hundred and forty five pound, and Rob. Three hundred and nineteen quid. 
319 pounds. I can reveal to you that Noel was uh, the only one to go over, but only just. Surprise, surprise. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. So definitely not too near. <clears throat> so the points or five points go to uh Darren on that one. This round yes. he was the closest with four hundred and ninety-nine pounds. As if you needed them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rubbish at this. Oh, that, that, that bloke right right now in the bill. Bill. that sort of money. <laughs> Darren, how much for five pound points? How much? <laughs> yeah. how much uh, not, not the eBay price. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. I never get these right. <clears throat> okay, got two pictures for the next one just to show this off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Let me get the article up um, so I can. I mean, you obviously you can see what it is, but I'll give you the full uh, full rundown. It is a Boeing 747-300 complete flight deck. Um, it oh, says, wow. uh, a unique opportunity to purchase a complete exterior and interior flight deck from this iconic aircraft. Uh, as can be seen from the pictures, it's complete and in perfect condition. Let me show you. There you go. Um, wow. Look at that. Uh, supplied with registration uh, confirmation for tracing the history prior to decommission this was operated by the Russian Transero Airlines so roughly three <clears throat> of those gauges will still work hmm. and oddly enough yeah. the, the, the seller has two available cool. <laughs> Is his so, last name Putin you know, by any chance? They were just chucking them out, were they? Or what? <laughs> just wanting to get rid of them. Trying to raise some cash. You convert them into drones. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be up for sanction, probably. Mm. There you go. A couple of pictures there for you to have a nosy at. That's, that's going to be big. It'd be amazing hey, Max, to own that, though, they, wouldn't they it? Could do a whole, whole setup with this. Yeah, do you, is it comes with delivery or? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cancelling collection. <laughs> you can get it for free. Time? Free collection in, in person. Where's that from? In the back of a Fiesta. <laughs> no, Redditch. <laughs> oh, Redditch. 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 <laughs> 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 I've got a oh, feeling, yeah, yeah. and I may be wrong, but I've got a feeling this is uh, the uh, 747 that was up at Bruntingthorpe. Yeah. Mm. Pretty strange, yeah. And that's probably why there's two available. Great to turn it into a podcast studio. Mm. If anyone wants to put a super chat in, by the way, for £32,000, that'd be great. <laughs> No, I threw a random number out there. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, am I? Well, I'm, I'm questioning what I've written down now. <laughs> Tom, Tom's hiding himself behind that picture. He's going, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you just throw random numbers. Just throw num random numbers out there. I'll tell you one thing, Max should be in, a, in his element. It's not a flight sim. I know, I know, but you can speak to his hand, hand to it. <laughs> hey, Jack, Jack, I dare you to say a million. Yeah, yeah. He'd, probably, <laughs> he'd probably promise the, uh, the seller you're paying, but it doesn't turn up. <laughs> you're paying rubles. <laughs> All right. Right, I'm ready. Everyone ready? Yep. 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 Good mm -hmm. stuff. All right, so... For the uh, front cockpit of a 747-300, um, we're going to go for Nabil first. How much do you think, please? 80,999. 
8,999. Uh, Jack? 37k. 37,000. Noel? 48,000. 48,000. Darren? 30? 30? 30k. Yep, 3-0. Yeah. 30k. Alex? I've gone with 28,000. 28,000. Lewis? I've gone well low. 25k. 25,000. And roll. Wonder sold this. 22.5k. 22 and a half thousand pound. Okay. Well, thank goodness. Nobody caught on to the fact I did give it away. Um, <laughs> 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 I certainly did fun, give it away. <laughs> I panicked. I was like, oh crap. And then no one caught on. So it's fine. Well, my people did catch on, but I managed to play it off. So it's all good. Um, 32,000 pounds is what it uh, would set you back for one of these. You caught. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Plain Spotter 23 says, is it compatible with Vatsim? <laughs> <laughs> So thirty thousand uh, pounds was Darren's uh, answer. So Darren gets the uh, five points. In that, Benton, in that hat, Darren, it looks like the guy off uh, TV Blinders. I'm not kidding. <laughs> on, oh my me. god! You guys wouldn't believe. I had first. I had thirty nine, thirty thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Oh, I thought you were saying you were gonna I, like you know, go. I changed phone. it because I was like, everything works in there, so it must be worth more because <laughs> you can get like a, a working cockpit for 737, like a fully modulated one for about 40k. So it can't, it, it's got to be worth more than that. Yeah, well, it's all that's why I like this round because it tends to throw people off, especially <laughs> yeah. when I give the answer away. <laughs> I did say I'm not going to second guess myself, and uh, that's what I did. So I need to go nice. higher, I think, with my lot. <laughs> that's all right. All right, on to the next one, which is quite a quirky little thing, this one. Uh, so we have got. Um, it is a Bristol Airport Aero Club opening rally 1949 poster. Um, and if you can't see what it says on the poster, um, it is the club's first rally will be held uh, Saturday, 23rd of uh, July at 2 p.m. Um, and it says uh, will be held weather permitting on the north side at Whitchurch on the afternoon of Saturday, blah, blah, blah. The following provisional program has been arranged. And here's what they used to do. Um, arrival competition of visiting aircraft, the demonstration of the Bristol helicopter fly past of, uh, by vampires of uh, Squadron 1, I think it is, or uh, 501 Squadron, sorry, forgive me. Uh, gliding demonstration by the Bristol Gliding Club, fly past by a Solent class flying boat, Constellation, and Dove aircraft. Um, demonstration by instructors, number 12 reserve flying school at Filton. Uh, demonstration of model aircraft, control line flying, joy rides over Bristol for members and their guests. Members. <laughs> members. <laughs> members and their guests. Um, and then it is a tea interval. Um, teas provided at popular prices in the Boac canteen uh, and then spot landing competition will take place during the tea interval and then the visiting aircraft departs at 5.45pm uh, and admission is free for Boac personnel and their families pretty cool do like that but how much for that a uh, little bit of history how much of a super chat do you want for this one, uh, Tom? <laughs> 50 quid. Um, we'll stick with 32,000, shall we? <laughs> like 32,000. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. <laughs> Fool myself twice, I'm an idiot. Okay. Is there anything written on the back of it, or is it just that sheet of paper? Uh, it is. It is blank on the back. Oh, okay. So it's like a flyer. It's a poster. Uh, essentially, yeah. Oh, is it not a poster? Oh, right. Oh. Um. Well, it says poster, but yeah, there's nothing. Nothing on the back. 
the uh, other picture. It's just, yeah, it's a folded, you could call it poster, I suppose. But how cool would it be to be like have been there to get a fly past of vampires from the RAF? A Lockheed <laughs> Constellation, a flying boat. Pretty cool. All right. Everyone got a price? Yeah. 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 Okay, so <clears throat> we'll go with Rob first. How much, please? Well, well this one, eighteen ninety nine. Eighteen ninety nine. Uh Lewis. Uh twenty nine pounds. Twenty nine quid. Uh Alex. I've gone with fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Uh Darren. Um, I've got 99. Nine, 99. 99, yeah. Noel? £6.97. <laughs> £6.97. Just a bit of paper. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, over to you. £26. 26 and the bill. Yeah, uh, a bit of paper, 4 99 4 Okay, I can tell you um, that... The points <clears throat> uh, go to Darren. Bloody hell. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what? Is Look at that. How did you get 299 points? I'm to like this round now. <laughs> I think gold plated or something. I thought it was being high by going like nearly 30. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? 200. Did it perform the show as well? £299.95. And it's been folded. It's been folded. Yeah, it's been iron. <laughs> <laughs> so what the Delboy would certainly say, we'll, we'll be millionaire, mi millionaires with this. Yes. He just photocopied it, hasn't he? And he's just flogging them for 300 bucks. Or if you can't afford that, it's uh, £14.15 per month for 24 months. <laughs> I think my guess was for the per month, not for the actual price. <laughs> oh, in that case, five points go to Alex. <laughs> okay, and the uh, the type bastards are, are, are t uh, nine pound ninety five for post and packaging as well. Yeah. You weren't the only oh, one yeah. to mention that. How much does this weigh? How much does it weigh? Um, yeah, that is cost them over ten pounds. Let's have a look. Uh, Located so in enough, London as well. Say. But for 10 quid. Oh, there you go. Look at London prices. And yeah. it's no, it's not registered. So where's this come from? It's cheap. It's cheap uh, considering London. Yeah, London, London prices. Yeah. Tight bastards. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> uh, 99.95 mental oh money. God. How long has it been there? Past. How long has it been up on the, on the post? Uh, probably forever. Mm. Which is why I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Imagine yeah, someone actually friend. buys it yeah. and the person have lost it. The guy's just sitting there going, I know what, what I've got. I know what it's worth. Delivered <laughs> <laughs> oh, by every or something. Or, uh, <laughs> we tried to deliver it. How do you know? How do you know how long it's been listening for? Where'd you go? Someone tell me. Can you do Don't that? Can you find out? The day at the bottom, normally. Right at the bottom, normally. It's been a long time since it's been on eBay. It's probably changed. Um, no, don't worry about it. 1998. No, it's not it's not massively important, but yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. It, it doesn't say. Oh no, tell Lace it does. Uh, <coughs> 24th of July. So quite recent. Yeah, it's not that long. Yeah. No. Over a week. Okay, so I want everyone to kind of just stay silent for the moment. Um, because if you if you listen, you'll hear Wayne's wallet start to shake. <laughs> this is gonna be a model. Poor bank manager. Oof. It is indeed. Oh, oh dearie me. Loan on land or triple. Oh yes. Land or triple. It's a big one as well. Jack, you've never heard that before, have you? Well, a big one. 
<laughs> Jack's Jack's the go-to. I, I'm sorry. Um, right. Okay. So uh, <laughs> this one is a rare, large Boeing Triple Seven British Airways model aircraft. Uh, like new, has spent most of its life in a padded box, and there are pictures to go with the padded box, so at least it is there. Um, and like Jack, it has the length. <laughs> Um, <laughs> easy. Um, the uh, the length is uh, sixty three centimeters wingtip to wing. Uh, sorry, the length yeah sixty three centimeters wingtip to wingtip is sixty centimeters. So is that a large sausage? I don't know where you're going for your action, Jack. But you're obviously going to the wrong place. Um, <laughs> How much for the beautiful? Because mm -hmm. I'd have this 100%. Mm -hmm. I'd totally get this. I take it it's oh. used. Hear it. Uh, well, it's been, it's spent oh. most of its life in a padded box. So it actually is in very good condition. Okay. Never flown. No. <laughs> the remote control was taken out of it. Oh. Is it me or the engines don't look right? It's probably an old model. But yeah, the engines look like um, they look like well, 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 engines. Because the early landers were GEs, okay. Wingspan is sixty centimeters, um, David. And Gemma's asking about the scale. They reckon it's about one one hundred. But we'll call it a travel agent model. People know how big they are. Mm. Everyone got something written down? Yeah. 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 Wayne says definitely not NG standards. <laughs> <laughs> he knows his stuff. <laughs> All right. Probably tried to bid on this one or buy it. <laughs> Probably has. Not realizing there's a buy now price that we're about to guess. Um, so for this model, we're gonna go for um let's go Nabil, you first. Two hundred forty-nine ninety-nine. Two forty-nine ninety-nine. Jack. One thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Uh, it's going to happen at some point. Uh, <laughs> oh, over to you. Uh, Two hundred forty-eight. Two hundred and forty-eight pounds, Darren. I got seven hundred and fifty. Seven hundred and fifty quid, Alex. Well, it's triple seven. I've gone three fifty. <clears throat> 350 less. I've gone 700. 700 and Rob. Max, I'll see you in Razie. 2150 99. 2150 99. Okay. Points. And essentially could be already crowning brand new champion. Uh, go to Darren. 910 pounds. What a Bloody hell. He's what that will set you back. So five points to Darren. If, if you listen carefully, you can hear Wayne's bank manager just crying away. Yeah. <laughs> now going, please don't buy that. Please don't buy that. Please don't buy that. Buy Quick, first, stop on his account. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Freeze his card, damn it. Freeze his card. <laughs> yeah, he bank him. <laughs> <laughs> put, put a blink in um, 900 loads of lock on it <laughs> worth mm. every penny right but with eBay, I've never bought anything for eBay is it like a bidding situation where you bid up to a certain price because it starts it can be it's it's two, two different options mm. okay. yeah you got yeah. buy like a, you got auction auction mm. type thing or you can just buy things like straight off the bat sort of thing Okay. Okay. Next one uh, for you. We've got two to go. Oh God! It's uh, my old headphones I found in the gate. It's not really. It's um, <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you what they are. They are Air Tours International. Ooh. Oh my God! They don't work. Have they been uh, used? In-flight in-flight headphones used very good condition and to answer what Darren said, tested and working. They also come with earwax. <laughs> no, but apparently some mysterious stains are on there. 
<laughs> well, it is air tours. <laughs> yeah. No, not really. Uh, this is very good and in working condition. Are these from an A320 uh, or a 757? Doesn't say. Yeah. I mean, it on the plus say. side, they'll still work on the, uh, the modern planes. Yeah. Uh, things to, to note, uh, there are obviously two headphones. You're guessing the price for both. Uh, they come as a set. And uh, the um, they are two pinned for the uh, two pinned in flight in uh, headphones, so not the single jack, they are a two pin jack. So don't buy them for your Walkman, basically, yeah, <laughs> or your MP3 player. <laughs> as you can see on the uh, on the picture there as well, the two pin. Two pin jack. Okay. <clears throat> Everyone got uh, something written down? Yeah. Yep. Fabulous. Okay. Let's take that off screen. Uh, so, the two pin, two uh, uh, pin set. We're going to go jack first. £190.99. Uh, sorry, how much? One hundred ninety pound ninety nine. You have a frame with air tools, Jack. <laughs> yeah, then just about <laughs> that no, over to you. Four pound ninety nine. Four ninety nine, Darren. Oh, been silly. Fifty quid. Fifty quid. Um, Five zero. Not sure why. Lewis. Uh, nineteen pound. Nineteen quid. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 Nabil. Gone with the lucky number of ten ninety nine again. We can show you guys. Yeah. Excuse me. Work. Just allergic to Jack's answer. Um, <laughs> uh, Alex, over to you. I've gone with just two pound ninety nine. Two ninety nine for the pair, uh, and uh, Rob. Thirty four ninety nine. Twenty four. Thirty four. Thirty four ninety nine. Thirty four ninety nine. Thirty four ninety nine. Uh, I can tell you that uh, through this round, Darren has been sweeping the points up. However, he didn't get none this time because he's over. Um, points go to Lewis. Nineteen. Hey. 99 for the first pen. one of its round. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yay! <laughs> so, very, uh, very well done. Would anyone pay that for those or no? No. No. I'll pay 50. No. It's solid. No. Okay, good stuff. Farring Travels asking uh, stolen goods. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. To be honest, I, mean, I probably still got some in the back of my cupboard somewhere. <laughs> I mean, the fact is called it uh, something from the 1980s, and yet if you look at the picture, it says 1999 on them. It does, yeah. And that's why they ain't getting 20 quid out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, or last one, I should say. Last one of the round. Uh, people were saying in the chat, I am out of sync. But, uh, I don't know how bad, but we're all good. Um, but, yes, yeah, so the, the, the last one for the round is this, uh, which, here we go. Uh, so this is a watercolour painting by Mark Leary, uh, Apache helicopter landing and taking off. Um, uh, the, 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 on paper, within a black mount frame, presented in a cellophane bag, and uh, already uh, to already, hey, already to framed in a ten by twelve frame. Is that an aircraft carrier? Yeah. Yes. To a H six or the Apache. Oh, Jack, we saw those at... Um, at um, <laughs> what was it, Jack? <laughs> What's it called? Um, oh, uh, is it Yeovilton? No, it's not Yeovilton, is it? Uh, Cosford? No, it's not Cosford. 
<laughs> Duxford? No, it wasn't. Duxford either. Jack, help me out here. Where do we see him from? That's the yellow port. <laughs> Paris Air Show? No. Jack, where do we see that? That airfield in Rhea. Gloucestershire. Rhea, he said it. Mention it. Hey. Where did you see them? In Riyadh. Riyadh. <laughs> <laughs> Protecting Ronaldo. <laughs> nice little there. Uh, nice little painting. This. So for the last five points of the round. Jack, you got tickets for next next year's show. I will be getting them soon, actually. But... Now. He's been banned. He's been banned. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, this is a tricky one. Yeah. 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 Cool. Okay. We'll start with Rob on this one. 21999. Two nineteen ninety nine. Uh, Lewis. Uh, two hundred and forty pounds. Two hundred and forty pound. Alex. I've gone with one hundred and forty nine, which is what I'm hoping it's worth because I might go and buy that. I quite like it. <laughs> so, uh, Darren. Uh, one hundred and ninety nine. One hundred ninety nine. Noel. One hundred and forty nine. 49. Uh, Jack? 599 pounds. Oh, Christ. 599 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I beg someone. You paid please, it, Van Gogh. <laughs> please, someone go and get this can of Coke and just tell me there's nothing else in there. Uh, Nabil, over to you. Uh, 299. 299 pounds. Uh, I can reveal that uh, with the. Uh, Last one, the nice watercolor painting. Um, no points given. Twenty-five quid. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, that's go on, Alex. Worth more than that, I think. Go on, I'm going to go and inspect it. It's currently in Plymouth, so well, I'm, I'm going to go and buy that because I was uh, expecting to pay 150 quid for it. So you know. <laughs> there you go, even better. Yeah. Oh, so no one. points. For that last that is, someone doesn't know the worth, they need a manager. <laughs> yeah, he's mugging himself off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so last round is about to go in there, so that's fine. Um, right, scores as we go for another quick drink break. Um, so in last place, Alex with 10 points. Uh, in sixth place is Nabil with 13. Uh, then it hasn't moved. Joint third, no, joint fourth is uh, Noel and Jack on 18 points. Um, then we have Rob in third with 25. Uh, in second is Lewis with 30. And leading the way with 52 is Darren. Nice. Confirmed. I don't need to pay an appearance fee. Uh, for the next time. <laughs> <laughs> Could all no, change. You're, you're free to go and do some flying. Yeah. Well, some days are free need. again. <laughs> Darren, how much are you charging to uh, we return back to the channel? <laughs> to me? Yeah. <laughs> I I just disappear. <laughs> Thanks for watching the last ever quiz show we're doing. And, uh... <laughs> all right. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so anyone needs to disappear for a drink, whatever else, do that now. We'll see if we can get some. Uh, um, how do I score myself on this round against other people in the chat? Um, yeah, it's a tricky one. How do you, mm, yeah, good point. I suppose get yourself within like, I don't know, 20 quid, something like that, 20 quid under. I don't know, give yourself. Give yourself some points anyway. I'm feeling generous. It's like, uh, whose line is it anyway? Just give yourself a thousand points. You'll be fine. Can we have those five thousand points as well then? No. I ain't that generous. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people were surprised by the price of the uh, spend uh, the uh, uh, painting. Yeah. 
Gemma Rose says, I'll go against people in the chat. Yeah, go against people in the chat. Yeah, if you get, give yourself five points if you feel like you're the closest. Okay. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, lots of people surprised by the price there. So time to get your thinking brains on because it is the final round. And those that have been a regular on the quiz know exactly which one we're about to do. It is, of course, eject a seat. Oh. Or it's, uh, it's sometimes better known as survival. Uh, how this one works, uh, I will give uh, everybody um, a topic um, and they will basically need to uh, take about uh, 45 seconds to a minute to brainstorm some ideas for the topic and then basically go give me the right answer. If a wrong answer is given, they are eliminated, but the round still continues until there's one person left uh, and they get maximum points if they can give me the correct answer. So basically, it's just a virtue of elimination for this one, and we have three attempts at it. So there are still points to play for, still positions to be made up uh, as well. And of course, as you know, topics for these ones are airlines from a particular country. I feel like I've been a little bit harsh this evening, considering the ones I've got. I've really had to make sure that I didn't pick ones we've already done, and I'm fairly positive that we haven't. So I'm going to give you 60 seconds uh, to have a think about some ideas. They can be uh, charter, cargo, bankrupt, still flying, whatever. Um, and the first country I'm going to give is Turkey. Mm. Mm. So I will need the right answers from airlines that are past or present, cargo or charter. Um, from the uh, the country of Turkey. And they will have to be based on the list I have in front of me. The chat will act as VAR as well, if we need to. So give yourselves some time to think about this one. From the country of Turkey. So, in the chat, let's have a look. Uh, Brandon Plains 23 uh, says, Thanks to many of the panel for tonight's show for following me. Uh, so, no worries. At all. Uh, hands up who followed Brandon Plains 23. Jack did. I know I did. I know people are thinking at the moment, so it's not the best, pay best time to last that. But uh, yeah, get some uh, get some thinking. Give you a bit more time to have a quick think. But, uh, big thank you to everyone in the chat that's uh, playing. Oh, we're scoring ourselves as well. Sorry if I'm being so competitive. This is Gemma. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. So go for like. I know. So if we say, say if we start with, uh, if we start with Jack, uh, and then work work your way around, and then if we get back to Jack, then you, you count uh, count another point. So basically, what's going to happen is we've got seven people playing. So uh, if you're out first, one point. If you're out second, two points. If you're out third, you get three. Fourth, you get four. Five. We'll go for five, and then we'll go for seven. And then 10, you can give me a correct answer. And if you don't give me a correct answer, you'll get eight points. I should probably write that down because I will forget that. One, two, three, four, seven, and 10. Awesome. Okay. Thinking caps off. Um, we are going to go in order of how I've got it on my screen. So if I bring the notes up, um, I'm going to go for, uh, it's going to go Rob, then Lewis, then Alex, then Darren, then Noel, then Jack, then Nabil. So Rob, kick us off with the first of the Turkish, um, uh, uh, yeah, Turkish uh, counterparts, please. Uh, MNG Cargo. MNG Cargo. Yep, on the list. Lewis. Uh, Pegasus. Pegasus, of course. Alex. Uh, Corindon. Corindon. 
Darren? Owner Air. Which one, sorry? Owner Air. O-N-E-R-Air. Owner Air. Yeah. yeah, that's on the uh, on the past list. Very good. Uh, Noel? I'm from Turkish the... Airlines. Pushing the, the one I very nearly there. said. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> very, I don't think it's another word then. <laughs> so, got it uh, counterparts. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah Turkish is. Airlines. Uh, Jack? Freebird. Freebird, of course. Nabil? Cool. Uh, Turkish Cargo. Turkish Cargo, very good. Um, so if you're playing along at home, now give yourself two points if you can't think of one. Uh, Rob? Uh, Sun Express. Sun Express. Lewis? Uh, Anna Lujet. Good. Anna Lujet. Uh, Alex? Uh, Sun Air. I think I'm going to be out on the first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not on the list, sadly. But fear not, we'll do two more rounds after this. So one point uh, for Yay, one point for Alex. Uh, if you're playing along at home, give yourself two points if you didn't get the correct answer there. Um, one point, for Alex. We continue with. Darren. Green Air. And then one five fours. Uh, just say that one more time. Green Air. Green, Green Air. Hmm. Uh, yes, Green Air. Uh, 1990 to 1994. Very good. Um, Noel. Cyprus Turkish Airlines or Kibris Turkish Airlines. <coughs> I feel like that's they had, there. T they had TC Regis because it was the northern Cyprus bit, which was the Turkish bit, wasn't it? There were two KH. What was the uh, KTHY or something? Yeah, TKHY. Yeah, KTHY. Hmm. What's the one? Interesting. Let me just hang on. K Back in the nineties, it's a while ago now. <clears throat> if you just the airline, I remember it very well. Oh. No, oh no. <laughs> Is it not? No. <laughs> I'm as surprised as anyone. Um, I thought it was. Apparently not. Um, oh. According to Wikipedia. Um, KTHY operated scheduled flights from uh, northern Cyprus. Yep. Um, Separate country. I thought it was owned by just... Turkey. Yeah, but the Turkish government oh, doesn't exist as a country. Oh, we won't go uh, political. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it was a, a Turkish Cypriot airline that served as the flag carrier of northern Cyprus. Yeah. But then apparently that is a. The, Officially, the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. It's a grey area, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's not a country, though, is it? Headquarters were in Cyprus. I think that's one for the chat. <laughs> I think we're going to have. We're going to need to VAR this. <laughs> okay, VAR chat. Let's go. What are we saying? Yes or no? Yeah, this is a this is a tough one. This one, I, I wouldn't know which one to put this in. Yeah, but Noel's already popular with his videos. They're going to say yes, aren't they? <laughs> 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 because I'm out of ideas after this one. So. <laughs> okay, lot, yeah, lots of people, yeah, lots of people saying yes. So I think we'll, we'll give you that. Lots of people saying Thank yes. <laughs> um, okay, let's get rid. Of, so let's just make sure that. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, so Noel stays in. Jack. Christmas dinner airlines. What the? Wow. Do you know what? I'm not even checking that. Well, you really are desperate, aren't you, Jack? I, I'm, not, I'm, not even I'm not even checking that. Two points to Jack. Definitely I'm, I'm, not, even, that I'm not even going to entertain that with a with a. Uh, I, I generally can't believe the. The punt you just given there is literally <laughs> goodness me. Two points, not even checking it. 
Not even checking it. Uh, we move on from Jack to uh, to the bill. Uh, total gas, but uh, smart wings. Mm. Not on the list, sadly. So but three not. points in the bill. No worries at all. Let's just give three there. All right, we'll take your screen. So three points for Nabil. So uh, we move from Nabil to Rob. Uh, I don't know if it's missing. Andalou? Have we done that? Mm -hmm. no. oh, yeah, has that been done? Yeah. So, and and Anadulu jet has been mentioned, yeah, but sorry. Anadulu is there. Ignore me, yeah. Round for a year, uh, 1989 to 1989. But there's no notes on it, but it is there on the list. So it does count. Um, so you remain Rob. I think we now go to Lewis. Uh... A oh god A N G airlines or air air sorry M N G sorry I've said that already oh uh, oh god hang on oh can't have another guess if you said oh, it. oh is it sorry <laughs> right. yeah. <laughs> yeah you got one up basically I should have mentioned one answer and um yeah my bad um, I forgot to write I mark that one out <laughs> that's all right um so yeah so it's already been uh, already been said so you get. Four points. So we'll take you off the screen there. Okay. <laughs> I'm still reeling at the fact that Jack went with Christmas dinner air. That's something that is not <laughs> profoundly known in Turkey, but fair enough. <clears throat> also the wrong type of turkey, but that's, that's neither here or there. Goodness me. Okay, Lewis has gone. So, Darren, over to you. Um, air ACT with a 7 freighter. Ooh, it's it is there. It's on the list. Um, no. Right. I'm going to go. And I know we've already had Turkish Airlines. I'm going to go with THY because I don't know if they were an airline before they became Ooh, okay. Turkish Airlines. <laughs> it's a different scheme. Can you tell I'm punching at straws here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't go for the festive scheme of uh, what Jack did. Say, at least it's a Christmas dinner airline. <laughs> <Thanksgiving> <laughs> air. um, that's going to make the end of the year highlights. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's not not on the list. So that is five points for Noel. Oh. Uh, so let's take that off there. Let's go to this mode. Um, Rob, over to you. Um, South Wind. South Wind is on the list. It is indeed. Um, Darren. Uh, Bergen Air. B i r g e n Air. Uh, DC I recognize that. Yeah, I recognize that. Ooh, yes, Jesus. 1988 to 1996. Did they not have an issue with their 757? Uh, it's a famous yeah. crash. Yeah, it's yeah. a famous it's crash. Crashes, it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome, it? <laughs> Virgin Air, uh, Bergen Air, whatever you want to call it, is, yeah. is there. Um, so very, very well done. Rob, over to you. Cargo, cargo, uh, ULS cargo. ULS cargo, very good. ULS cargo. On the list, um, no, Liberty. Uh, oh. Sorry, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the list. That's why. Darren, no, sorry. <laughs> sorry, forgive me. Over to you. Um, two, T U R. I used to have Boeing seven two seven. Oh, Jesus, Jones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, T-U-R I'm an old tar. tar I get these things <laughs> Yeah, tar 1987 to 1994 um, I will just quickly mention um, And this is probably not going to help anybody um, There is one current that hasn't been mentioned I don't think um, Unless I'm completely wrong Otherwise you're looking at past, past airlines For the rest of the list So uh, Rob, over to you 
Um, I'm lost now. Istanbul Air. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. Uh, used to operate 737-800s at the time and also two, uh, sorry, 727s as well. Um, they were around until the year 2000. Um, so, yes, that is on the list. Uh, Darren, over to you. Have we said the Istanbul Airlines? That's the one. That Yeah, that's the one. Oh, okay. Fair yeah. Okay. Now, what might, I was going to say Turkish cargo. Is that what you're going with? Yeah, like, Turkish cargo. They've got triple sevens, haven't they? Yeah, it's also been mentioned. Was it? It has been mentioned. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, da, 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 seven points um, for <laughs> Darren. <laughs> So for a full 10, um, just need one correct answer. Uh, but a dodgy one, but a uh, tailwind, is it? Okay. This is the one I wasn't quite sure of. So I'm going to bring everybody back. And I know we've got some honest people here. Did anybody say tailwind? No. No, I don't think we did. 10 points go to Rob Brown. Very well done. Didn't Jack say it? No. <laughs> we all know what Jack said. <laughs> we all know what Jack said. <laughs> yeah, that's what Jack said. Okay. So a lot of you are going to kick yourselves at some of the ones that you have missed. So all of the, um, all of the present day ones are done. The list is complete. You could have had, uh, there'd be some notable names here, ATC Airlines, which then became Air ATC, ACT rather, um, Air Anatolia, which operated until uh, 2003, yeah. Air Berlin, Turkey, mm. you could have had, Akdeniz Airlines, uh, you could have had the famous one that made uh, viral news with their wonderful logo at the beginning of Ank Air. Oh, yeah. Remember those ones? Oh, yes. <laughs> um, Do you have a W? The <laughs> funny logo that looks like a W and makes it look like wanker. Uh, <laughs> uh, you could have had Atlas Global. Um, you could have had Bora Jet. You could have had Bosphorus European Airways with their a, uh, A300. Um, you could have had Eurosun. You could have had Fly Air. You could have had uh, Inter Airlines. Operated until 2008. You could have had Isair operate until 2018. They were absorbed into Pegasus with the A319s and I think A320s. Um, you could have had Sky Airlines with their 737 uh, operate until 2013. Um, and you could have had Turkish Express, which were rebranded as Anadolu Jet. Uh, Turkuaz Airlines operate until 2010 with A320s with their sort of teal blue sort of looking thing uh, livery. Um, and you could have had UPS Turkey. <laughs> yes. So very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, so thinking caps back on once more. Uh, as we go for uh, our second. Probably a quite tricky one, this one. Uh, Nigeria. Oh, God. Yes. I did say they probably weren't going to be easy. Because it's the problem is when you start doing these rounds, you don't realize that you've taken some of the bigger ones out there. So you really have to like scrape the bottom of the barrel. So airlines, uh, airlines past and present for, uh, for Nigeria. <laughs> Whilst you think, here's how the scores are. Uh, so in last place with 11 is Alex. In sixth place with 16 is Nabil. In fifth with 20 points is Jack. In fourth with 23 is Noel. Uh, in third with 34 is Lewis. Uh, Rob is in second with 35 and Darren is uh, in the lead with 59. <clears throat> Jeez, 
yeah, <laughs> Loopy, welcome to the uh, the chat. He says, "What sort of food is Jack thinking of this time?" <laughs> just, to, just to throw that out there. <laughs> So Gemma thinks that uh, she has 32 points so far. So she's definitely beaten Jack, which is always a good thing. Lots of people with their predictions. Yeah, don't do your uh, tickets for next year. That'd be. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Yeah, I will be going, but I haven't come that far yet. I lost my missus to get them as a Christmas Ooh. present. Or something. <laughs> okay. Max reckons he's got 56 points. <laughs> That's only is three that, points. That, that uh, <laughs> is that on uh... That's, what, that's McDonald's points, not a... Uh... <laughs> how, uh, yeah, how many nectar points can you get for a, a chips and latte? Uh, I'd hate to think how much he spends on that. It's got a bit about 30 points. I already know how much he spends on that, and that is a big fat naught. <laughs> Bruce saying Max has 56 nectar points. All right, everyone got uh, something down at least. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go opposite way. So we're going to go Nabil, then Jack, then Noel, then Darren, then Alex, then Lewis, then Rob. Um, so uh, uh, so Nabil, if you want to go first, first airline uh, out of Nigeria, please. Um, in Nigeria? <laughs> it is. It is there. It is there. Yeah. You look so well, like, come on, it's Air got 90, to be yeah. there. Uh, they were, of course. Yeah, you know, I can't mention it because it'll give it'll give one away. Uh, but 2010 to 2012, uh, Air Nigeria uh, were around. So, well done to you, Jack. Over to you. God help us all with this. Go on. Uh, Air Nigeria cargo. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> one point. To, <laughs> one point, Jack. Uh, Air Nigeria cargo is not a thing. Um, Noel, over to you. Air peace. Air peace. Oh, it is there. I heard video. a sigh then. Someone's had that in, on their he list. It. <laughs> <laughs> Air the one peace. Everyone's heard of. <laughs> Air peace is on the list, of course. Darren, over to you. Uh, Nigerian Airways. Yep, it is there. 1958 2003. Um, Alex. I have absolutely nothing for this one. Um, I'm going to go with what I think is one, Comet Airlines. Not there, sadly. So two points to uh, to Alex. Uh, so that puts you on to there. Um, Lewis. Um, United Nigeria Airline. Yep, 
United Nigeria Airlines. It is there. Uh, very well done. Uh, Rob? Um, I might be getting this confused with an Israeli line, but is it Arik Air? Arik Air is not there. I also heard a sigh coming from somebody. <laughs> but yes, Arik Air is, uh, is on the list. So back to you, uh, Nabil. This is my last one. Um, Allied Air. Very good. Allied Air. The only reason He's I know on that the list. Of- when I was trying to do the South African route on my stream, I was looking for a different region in uh, Africa. So, yeah, you just type in a bunch of different countries. <laughs> Fair play. Right, yeah. Allied Air is on the list. We go to Noel. Dana Air. Mm, Dana Air is on the list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darren. Okada Air. Which one, sorry? Okada. Okay, Okada. Yeah, 1982 to 2002. Okada Air. Uh, Alex is out. Lewis. Um, Aero. I think it's... I'm not too sure if it's... Just aero, aero, something else, aero. Uh, yep. Oh, four. Yep, that's what it's known as. Yep, aero. Good shout. Um, Rob Brown. Uh, I bomb. I bomb. Great shout. It is there. I bomb air. Or I bomb. I bomb. I bomb. One of the two. Unfortunate name yes, for an airline, it. really. It is unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to pipe up then and say something. <laughs> yeah, uh, I bomb, I bomb, whatever it's called, on the list. Nabil. <clears throat> uh, this is. I'm not sure it's going to be counted, but Bambi. It's too soon, man. Still too soon. <laughs> um. It is not, not on the list. Because it was a call sign, so I thought I'd try my luck. <laughs> That's all right. No, so that'd be, uh, what were that, three points? Three points. Yeah, three points to you, Neville. Just pop that on there. Um, so from the bill, we go to Noel. Cabo Air. Cabo Air is on the list, of course. Yeah. Uh, I'm saving that for a desperate one as well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my been desperate. <laughs> um, Darren. Well, no, just help me because Cabo Air is the Virgin 747. Of course, there's Virgin Nigeria. Virgin Nigeria was the one that I couldn't give away, otherwise, it wouldn't give it away that came by uh, Air Nigeria. <laughs> so, yeah, Virgin Nigeria. Yeah. Um, just uh, yeah, rebranded as uh, as another airline. Very good. Um, Lewis. Um, oh, I am now scraping the bell. Uh, value Jet. It might be Value Jet Nigeria, not the American one. <laughs> value Jet. Yeah, Value Jet's there. Ooh. So you remain, uh, Rob. Uh, I'm done. Uh, Diamond Air. It's better than Christmas dinner. But... Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. Mm, thanks. Rob. Not on the list. So, um, that four points now. I think. Four points to Rob Brown. <clears throat> uh, we go back to Noel. Well, I'm down to guesses now, but I think Air Contractors. I'm not sure if they had a Nigerian arm. Um... It's there. Aero Contractors oh. of Nigeria. 
which were then rebranded as Aero. So it technically Aero counts. Airlines. Yes. Cool. So it technically counts. So very good. Uh, we move to Darren. Uh, wasn't there a Dutch company operated in Nigeria called, um, was it Schenkers or something? It was like an orange S. I forgot the wrong company, but. Shanks, it's a like cargo there. company, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, but they had some uh, Pumas and stuff. Super Pumas, isn't it? Yeah. I think I got it wrong, but... Schenkers or... No, I don't know. <clears throat> oh. Okay, five points to Darren. Not on the list. Oh, no. <laughs> so, down to two five points, which would be mental math. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Baron, we go to Lewis. Um, I'm trying to remember all the 747s because there was quite a few, if I remember. I think, not to be mistaken from the actual person on this chat, Max F. <laughs> Seems to remember being one. I've seen it in the chat, and people are like, that's so unfortunate. But yes, Max Air. Oh. It Hooray. Is <laughs> Max Air is, is on the list. Uh, Noel. Well, Darren's helped me with the helicopter link, so thank you, Darren. Um, did Bristow Helicopters have a operation in Nigeria? There were a lot of the oil places did, didn't they? I thought you said he helped you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me a clue. It was not necessarily any good. <laughs> not on the list. Oh, God. Okay, so seven points uh, to Noel, which takes him on to that, which means Lewis for a full 10. If you can give me a correct answer. There is one left, and it was another 747, and I think it is Nigeria. It's T A T, Nigeria. Very good. Oh. Very, very good. Love that. Full, full 10 points. Let's bring cool. everyone back. Yeah. Very good. Very good with TAT Nigeria, which, if you have a look on Wikipedia, uh, operated an X. Um, it's a wave. It's a wave. Hey, Darren. Darren, you, you got a fair film on the side, side that you're watching on, on, your, on your other screen. Oh, hang on, Tim. I turn the sound up. Play again. Sorry. Tom, can you see a quick shout out if you don't mind? Go for it. Um, Hi. 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 What, what's his what's, what's his name? Angus. 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 Big shout out to you, Angus. Everyone give give Angus a, Hi, a nice Angus. little shout out. Hi, Angus. <laughs> <laughs> Just Tom. Good stuff. Go on, Jack. You can carry on now. Uh, I said, Dan, is that, is that a film, film that you got inside that you keep skimming to? Film? Sorry. Film or something that you got keep skimming to? Me? I'm eating some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you can't cut that one, Jack. <laughs> it's my pudding. It's been tried. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can cook it, but it'd just be cream, not ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't give him ideas, please. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's bad enough. It could probably burn it. <laughs> okay, here's one that you could have had <clears throat> out of Nigeria. Jack, I'm very surprised you did not get Asman here. Um, you could have also had Green Africa Airways, which operate ATRs. One came to this country to operate on behalf of Eastern, doing Nuki to Gatwick. <clears throat> um other notable names uh, you could have had a uh, Nigerian Eagle um, Bellevue operating the 767-200 into Heathrow um, <clears throat> you could have had Das Air the um, no that's not, that's not the Das Air I'm thinking yeah it's not the Das Air I'm thinking of ignore that um, First Nation Airways oh. operated, looks like A320s there. Um, yeah, I Cabo Air, which I think was mentioned. Is it Lagos Air? 
I was thinking that actually. Yeah, no Lagos. Okay. Um, Heaviest flights when it comes to Virgin. (laughs) Have to offload those heavy, heavy bags from there. (laughs) Uh, Virgin Nigeria one. Virgin Nigeria. That's been mentioned already. No, well, any thoughts of going to Nigeria? Yeah, well, I did actually have a trip plan. That's how I knew a few of these because it was the ones that I was looking at flying on one of them. <laughs> but, um, cool. Yeah, but getting a visa is a nightmare for Nigeria. And then Josh went and he basically had a really crap time and he said it's even worse yeah, than I India. So yeah, I was like, I well, that. okay, I'm yeah. not going <laughs> to. So I've kind yeah. of not really thought about going. But yeah. No, it's not a friendly place. No. no. You go outside the, you go outside the airport terminal and it's, uh, you know, risking your. Risking yeah, exactly. So, um, nine, yeah, we'll give, we'll give that one a miss, I think, for now. It's always but, the yeah. taxi drivers that really sort of scare the life out of me when you walk out of the airport and all of a sudden they pounce on you. It's, it's oh, like, of course, yeah. Oh, no. Have you been there? No, no I mean, no, no. But like, countries like that. It, Anywhere like that, yeah. Yeah. You've got no idea. They're going to kidnap you or something. Yeah. You're going to the doors in Japan, though. Yeah, no, that's, that's, true. <laughs> that's true. Unless you know they're not going to rip you off, they rip you off, but it's it's a legitimate ripping you off, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so scores as they stand: <clears throat> last place with thirteen points is Alex. Sixth place with nineteen is Nabil. Fifth place with twenty-one is Jack. So Nabil got to do well here to beat Jack. Uh, it's only two points. Um, then we've got. So, uh, yeah, fourth place. <coughs> Excuse me, fourth place um, is Noel with 30. Uh, then we have Rob in third with 39, Lewis in second with 44, and Darren leading the way with 64 points. As you get your thinking caps on for your final uh, country for the evening, Poland. <sighs> Oh, God. You are not coming easy today, Mr. Tom. I think I might. You can tell many women now don't come easy at all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, had to, had to just throw that out. If, if that was an air, air force, air force type, type or anything, I'll, I'll, yeah. <laughs> for Poland, I'd. Hmm? Yeah. If that was like for an uh, aircraft, I'd. Well. In a stereotypical way, I uh, did so much research for this round and uh, didn't do any of these countries. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. One of my fa- favourite aircraft comes from this uh, this particular uh, the old Casa City Uh Where did you what see that, Jack? That, Jack? Yeah, what well, airline was Jack? <laughs> yeah. Curious where you saw them. That's all. The sad thing is, he isn't lying. Yeah, it was uh, 019, I think it was. First one I saw. Mm. Beautiful transport aircraft. For those that are still watching, um, if you want to take part in the next Quizness Jet, uh, which will be... I've bloody worked this out now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh God, third, third of September. No, mummy, no, mummy, no, no. Third of September. A week before I fly to Pakistan. Mm. If anyone wants to take part, third of September for Quizness Jet Nine, you can message me on the social medias. They are in the description below. And let me know if you are interested. <clears throat> Okay, so we are going to go. Sarah says next, yeah, we've got a charity one to do as well, but we've got something planned for that, but away from the charity side of it. If uh, you want to take part, even in the charity one, let me know, social media, etc. Okay, so we're going to go... Back the opposite way. Rob, Lewis, Alex, Darren, Noel, Jack, Nabil. So let me just get the lists up here. And Rob, kick us off. 
Uh, what? Are they low tier, whatever you want to call them? Yes, not Polish. Damn M-I-M. it. <laughs> Damn it. I've missed anyone I've got. <laughs> we'll go over there. <laughs> Lewis, over to you. Um, Buzz. Indeed, Alex. I was going to go Buzz. Um, Wizard. No, it's not on the list. You didn't have it all. Hmm. No, which is bizarre because they seem to have a base in every country, but just not not Poland. Um, So one point for Alex. Very respectful. Fourteen points. There we go to Darren. Um, Enter air. Enter air is on the list. Uh, No. Small planet. Small planet. Or or 2010 to 2018. Small planet. Uh, Jack. Aerolot. Aero lot, very good. 1922 to 1928. Um, Nabil. Uh, lot charters. Great shout, lot charters. Indeed. Just for that one as well. <laughs> yeah, ATR 72 600. You see a lot of liveries on the flights in. To Very good, very good shout, Rob. Uh, Sprint Air. Which one? Sprint Air. Sprint Air, very good. It's on the list. Um, Lewis. Uh, Sprint Air Cargo. (laughs) It's the right direction to go down. Because it is there. Yeah. It is there on the list with their Saab 340s. Um, Very good. uh, uh, no, it's got Darren. Mm. Um, there that many airlines in Poland? Um, <laughs> um, ah, I'm stumped. I'm going to say Aeroflot from the good old days. Obviously, not. And they were in Poland for a bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> bad joke. Not on the list. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. <laughs> It's fine points. anyway. <laughs> Two points for Darren. Okay. Um, Noel, over to you. Smart wings. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can hear the moans and groans. Damn it. <laughs> it is there, yeah. Smart wings, Poland. Um, Jack. Smart. Uh, smart. Air? Smart air. Afraid not. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, three points to Jack. Nabil. Um, I've got two, and one of them is Sky Taxi. Sky Taxi, very good. Very, very good indeed. Um, Rob. Um, Exxon. E-X-I-N. Exxon. Yep, very good. On the list. Um, Lewis. Um, I think it no longer is this. Air Poland. Still better than Christmas dinner, <laughs> <laughs> and it is there. Air Poland, twenty eleven to twenty twelve. Mm. Uh, they were a charter airline founded. In, well, it's a former subsidiary of the old Air Italy. Mm. Oh, so very good. It is there. Thank you for that. Um, you me. So, uh, Noel. I don't know if it's already been mentioned, but Eurolot. 
Thanks, Euro lots, indeed. Yeah, that was on my list as well. Good shout. Send yeah. the bill. Uh, I've got nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna go with lot cargo. Or has it been mentioned already? Hasn't been mentioned. It's also not there. Um, that so, does that put you on four points? One, two, three, yeah, four points. We'll find out after the round is done just where you finished. Okay. So after the bill, we go back to Rob. Uh, I'm going to go to the Brazil route and say Ryanair. That was Buzz, though, wasn't it? I feel like this is another VAR one. I think they had four, is it something like four aircraft register before they went to Buzz and a Polish register. I think it's something like that. Oh, fair enough. I think. Come on then, chat. Give it. I know the airline you're thinking of. Yeah. Do we give it? Lots of yeses coming in. One from Sarah, obviously, because, you know, Ryanair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to you. Everyone's saying yes. Uh, Ryanair's yeah, son. Yeah. yeah, Ryanair's son is what they were called before Buzz. That's it, yeah. So I'll give you that one. Uh, Lewis. Uh, you just reminded me, actually. Air Italy Polixia. Is it Pol Poloskia? No, I'll give you it. I mean, pronunciation ain't there, but we'll, we'll give you it. So we're going to need a spelling. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I am dyslexic. <laughs> Air Italy Polska. That's it. Yes. That one. That's the one. That's the one. Uh, Noel. Well, I'm down to pure guesses now. So, Air Warsaw. Afraid not. <laughs> Afraid not. Uh, so, that is five, I believe. Five oh, points. Jesus. So five from Noel. We go to Rob. I've got nothing. Uh, I don't know. Lot Regional or Lot Express or something like that. Seven points. Rob. So, Lewis, for a full ten. Um. So the last two I've got are properly ringing it, but it's one which I've seen to him because I remember my dad likes the um, the band and there was an airline named after them and it, for some reason it was Poland. Yes. Very good. Oh. Very good. Full 10 points for Lewis. Yes, Airways, I think they were called. Yeah. So well done. Let's bring everyone. That is the lot. Very good. Okay. So here's what you could have had for the. Uh, here's what you could have won. Bully's prize. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so all of the current ones were mentioned, um, which was which was good. Uh, the ones that were notable, you could have an Air Polonia, rating seven three seven four hundred. Bingo Airways. Bingo. With the Comic Sans. Oh, that's one, one for Jack, that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember the Steve going on about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Central Wings, which was the first sort of subsidiary of Lot, with the red uh, <laughs> No, really, it is one. Um, uh, 737 400s that were transferred from the lot. Uh, lot. Um, and the other one yeah. and White Eagle Aviation, which operated 737 400s. So 
there you go. It is. That brings uh, a clo uh, to close. To yeah, brings to a close uh, another wonderful evening of business jet. Uh, let's tell you what the final scores were. Um, so in last place with 14, a very respectable 14 points was Alex. So well done to you. So big round of applause to you. Um, now in sixth place and a point separates the two of them. Sixth place went to Nabil with 23 points. <laughs> <laughs> <Very well. laughs> which means fifth place <laughs> fifth place went to Jack with 24 oh, wow. so very well done right then we have fourth place the former uh, Quizness Jet champion Noel Phillips with 35 Ooh. very well done in third place is Rob Brown with a very respectable 46 points. So very well done to you. Um, then second place, Lewis with 54 points. So very respectable for a first time. And the new, uh, I think, two-time Quizness Jet champion is Darren, who finishes with 66 well points. Done, well done, well well done, Darren. Any words well done, Darren. Darren. No, we've been released. <laughs> Noel's off now. <laughs> we'll never see him again. My wife will be happy now. Tell me about his safe. You don't need to uh, start paying him. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm cheap anyway. Right. Now happy. <laughs> My wallet is safe. <laughs> no, all good. All good. Uh, Darren, any words as champion? Ah, just well played, everyone, and uh, ah, I enjoyed it. So, uh, we probably won't see Noel ever again because he's going to say, Oh, no, I'm not checking anymore. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see, I'm sure we'll see him again. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm sure we'll see him again. But, um, but no, very well done, everyone. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll close out. We'll just do some very quick shout outs, do the cheesy wave at the end. Uh, let you know what we're doing in the future and then say our goodbyes. So, uh, Alex, we'll start with you. Do you want to say some um, some shout outs? Uh, just thanks for having me on here. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a nerve wracking uh, first one, but uh, I'm sure if my schedule's right with work, I'll come back on and uh, join some more and hopefully I'll, uh, I'll win. Um, always welcome yeah always welcome on so just yeah let us know and uh, we'll get you back on for the next one if you can do it if not we'll uh, we'll work around that rob over to you hey just a big thanks to one of the guys that took part tonight it was awesome uh cracking and just a big shout out to you tom thanks again um and thanks for shout out for the b-man much appreciated cheers for that ah, no worries no worries at all uh nabil over to you yeah, once again, thank you very much for uh, having me. It was uh, wonderful uh, competing against all the legends here. Um, really <laughs> and Jack. It, it increases my knowledge as well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, Jack, you got lucky this time. I'm coming for you next time, mate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for having me. It's uh, always fun. This is my second time, so I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, hopefully I can join next time. Not 100% sure, but we'll try my best. Fingers crossed. Uh, just a very quick one. Gemma wrote saying, can anyone join the quiz? Absolutely anyone can join if you feel brave enough to uh, come on stream with us and, and take part in the quiz. Then, uh, yeah, absolutely. More than welcome to uh, to come and give it a go. Uh, Darren, over to you. Yeah, thanks for a nice evening. Enjoyed it. Um, it's totally life-changing being a champion. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, this has been a long one. It's nearly three hours. This is like a record. It's been the longest one, we've, uh, possibly longest one we've done. But yeah, oh, it's just kind of I didn't realise it was that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got to be up at five in the morning. So as soon as we finish this off, I'm, I'm jumping in the old. Bed. Better wrap up quick then, uh, Lewis. Over <laughs> to you. Uh, yeah, I, I was uh, quite surprised. Really surprised. Wasn't nervous in the end. So yeah, very very good and surprising score. Didn't think I be doing that at all but yeah it's been fun definitely uh definitely will come back and try and get a better score who knows um but yeah thank you for having me tom and thank you to you because 
I know this week's been challenging, but honestly, your dedication's amazing, mate. Honestly, talk to oh, yes. Thank you. Said about that, the better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, definitely been one of those this week in terms of trying to get stream out. But uh, yeah, no, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, Noel, over to you. Well, I just want to say thanks for having me keep coming back on and letting me keep coming back. It's been great. So, um, yeah, thanks for everything that you've done with all the quiz and everything and all you guys for joining as well. It's um, it's a good laugh. Thank you. I oh, appreciate that. More than welcome anytime if your schedule is free, of course. Um, of course, yeah. And I, I wouldn't yeah, even charge you yeah. for it. <laughs> <laughs> there is a God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jack, over to you. All right, I just want to say th thank you. Thank you to you all. Obviously, no, you're an absolute YouTube legend. Uh, L L Lewis. Are we going to call him a cutie then? Definitely <laughs> <laughs> not that. Or a legend. But yeah. uh, Lewis, th thank you so so much for uh, all, all uh, stuff on YouTube and all that. That helps out a lot. Darren, obviously, being you uh the bill i like it <laughs> <laughs> rob brown rob brown you're an absolute absolute legend keep keep up keep up the fantastic uh youtube bits as, as always uh tom tom thank you so much for everything it's been, what it's I been do. a pleasure again <laughs> Oh, pleasure. It's fine. It's all good. Excellent. All right. Very quick ones for me. Alex, thank you very much for coming on this evening. It's been great to sort of have a chat with you, say in person, but face to face and things like that. Always good. Um, Rob, yeah. always a pleasure having you on. One of the funniest people I know behind a phone, at least, but on, per on screen, even better. Um, Nabil will do some more shared flights and things like that. I think that's always good fun. And like I say, more than welcome to come on the, uh, the show in any capacity uh, whenever your schedule sees fit. Darren, <laughs> being a great competitor and like I say, pleasure of meeting you at, uh, uh, what was that thing called, Jack? Right. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that's the one. Um, but yeah, no, no great stuff. Um, and we'll look forward to having you back for the next one. Uh, Lewis, keep doing what you're doing. You're absolutely smashing it at the moment. So, um, yeah, keep keep, uh, keep up with the hard work and that, and uh, it'll all pay off. Noel, honestly, you've been fantastic having you on for the last three shows, and that's going to be very different not having you on, but I think a break is fantastic for everyone involved, <laughs> including yourself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, it's been been awesome to kind of, like say, have you sort of like a, we call it like friend of the show, but... Yeah, obviously, I say keep up with, with the videos and stuff. Everyone loves them, and that's all I can sort of say. Um, and Jack. So basically, um... <laughs> <laughs> see ya. <laughs> no, same with you, Jack. Just keep doing what you're doing. That's all you're gonna do. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Just focus on yourself. Yeah. That's what you're gonna do. But yeah. thank you, everybody, for. Uh, taking part this evening thank you to you guys at home for uh, for taking part and and you know playing along at home and watching and giving us the channel um mm -hmm. that's pretty much it really so keep notifications on to see what we're going to be doing over the next few days um but until then we're going to do a very cheesy wave as we always do in game show style and uh, we will see you for the next live one which will be next sunday for i think model mania with myself and wayne but until then <sighs> breathe until then, um, take care, have a wonderful week, and uh, we'll see you all very, very soon. Wave, everyone. Bye, -bye everyone. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Take care, everyone. See you. Cheers. See you. <laughs>
Disco, the 